our house. And out of the 51, all but one were arrested. Man, that's pretty classy. I didn't know if there would be a big old anime opening for this. By taking control of our tormented main character and guiding him to freedom. This game's pretty quiet. Eh? Setting cannot be changed here. Hopefully somewhere soon. Various settings. Enjoy the story by taking control of our tormented main character and guiding him to freedom. This game was so hard for you. This game was no joke. It was, uh... Catherine was extremely unique in that it was a new kind of puzzle game, and it was also very difficult. Start from the beginning of the story. There it is. Simple nightmares will haunt Avril. Frightening nightmares will haunt our protagonist. I'm not joking. This game is a pain in the ass. It's very, very hard. Uh, how much longer am I streaming? Gosh, like five or six more hours, probably? I'm gonna be on for a while. In this mode, all blocks will be the usual size. Recommended for those looking for traditional gameplay. In this mode, unusually shaped blocks will appear in the puzzles. Wow. Recommended for those looking for a fresh experience. Huh. That's cool. Uh, well, I only played Catherine All once, so. Be the usual size. Recommended for the very well. Please I'm gonna die a lot. World of Catherine full body to the fullest. But I, I feel, I feel like to some degree the pop problem solving this. Oh wait, hold on. We got anime time. wine is the best. Oh dear. <laughs> when the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse special feature. Do I see some new faces? Once again, your guide for the night is me, the Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine Full Body, the second coming of an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a terrifying and dramatic week. Oh, does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, like I said, this is Catherine, but with a fuller body. It's aged nicely, with a sensual flavor, not unlike a fine wine. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He is an earnest and kind man. But one day we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. 
Amidst the storm of temptations around him, he has another chance encounter. And an awfully cute one at that. But doesn't this seem a little... <laughs> convenient? Oh my, sounds like a recipe for disaster. Will Vincent be able to overcome the massive blocks in his life? Perhaps he'll take a road less traveled. <laughs> his outcome depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. It's time to savor the marriage of pleasure and pain. Now enjoy the show, until we meet again. Ugh, man. So it's interesting that we were previously talking about, like, how how video games... They they kind of incidentally have fallen to, into, like, cultural and, and stylistic movements. Kind of like, you know, uh, eras of art and film. Um... <laughs> Sorry, the game chose exactly now to get really loud. Wow. Vagina directly on face. We got some anime on our hands. Oh um, no. Um I do I do really love the uh certain games moving towards uh adopting like the anthology format. Yeah, there's a third girl now and it's quiet again. Also, I guess this is the cool intro, no? Hold on. All right, that was awesome, man. Got to give it up for Atlas. They always, uh, they always infuse a lot of uh, style into their games. Would this be a city pop fusion? Not really, no. It's just J rap. If you wanted to get real shaky with your connections, you could say that it was taking like a hook from 60s, but that's what most hip hop came from, like 60s bass lines. And there is some DNA there crossed over with City Pop, but I swear I saw a little male symbol pop out of that fog. Yeah, it's totally in there. <clears throat> kind of forgot Atlas made this. Yeah, it's not a Persona game. <laughs> um, I appreciate like I this game. This game was kind of a. It deserved a lot more celebration than I think it got for being not only wildly creative, but also coming up with a completely new game type that uh, was like functional and good, if that makes any sense. Well, I already, I already fucked myself. Who are you? No, I didn't. Where is this place? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die. You fucking serious? The ground is collapsing beneath you. Hurry and climb to the top. Edge. 
Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? Uh, I saw myself that Atlas with the devil at the crossroads and I've been obligated to support them ever How since. Am I supposed to move these things? You did the right thing. You made the right you call. Can grab onto a block with the A button. I love the little sheep. The directional buttons. Also, I love how the uh, little like advancing text indicator has a block drop Some on it. <laughs> can be moved. But it's like not the same animation every time. So be sure to the block drops on different sides. If you make a mistake moving a block. Oh, this is press the Mars from the nine planets. Little holst. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Oh, I can go around the backside, yeah. The camera shifts now? Ooh. Uh, wow, that's actually... That's great usability. Shit. Can't move those. Yeah. This is not good, boys. This is not good. Ooh. Undo. Hmm. Undo. Oh, you can only undo one. Uh oh. <laughs> if you use retry assist, you'll automatically climb back to where you left off. Bear Travis, why would you even. In the middle of a, a Catherine gameplay, why would you put that in Twitch? Bear, I'm just I'm just curious what motivated you to, to drop that brick of text. Can be found in the pause menu. Under config. I wasn't paying attention, damn it. I don't know what retry assist is. Got too distracted by a, a wildly out of context. Uh, stay, <laughs> like, something that's still, still having trouble wrapping my mind around. That's not good. around and wonder what you might think so I mean maybe but like consider context if no one's talking about a thing there's no reason to bring something like that up you know it uh it seems to me like a it seems to me like a little bit bit of a bait just seems that way shoot man Uh, no! Oh, crap. Ooh, boy. I biffed. Shit. Undo. Mm. Edge. Edge. Shit. Edge. Damn it. Can't move these guys, right? I thought the big ones you could, it just took longer. You wow, you can. Okay. Well, I'm screwed. Damn. Yeah. No way! Is this is a scripted death. Absolutely not. Uh this game's very difficult. Alright. Just think you have interesting takes, I see. Well, uh, let me tell you, there's uh, a fast way to ruin a good vibe, and that's to just start talking about politics out of nowhere, so. I will not be doing that. Uh, I mean, I never shy you from that stuff when it's uh, contextual, but not really contextual right now. Shit. Didn't know that there was a gap there. Crap! This game is already a... Oof. It's a rough test. Retry assist is an auto mode that will play the game for you until you get to where... Oh, okay. Thank you. I did not know that. I appreciate that. Wow. 
don't know if you guys know this, but hard is hard. It was very, very difficult. Yes. All right, I got it. Man, I can't hold on a second. All right, all right. Fuck. All right, all right. I got it. These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. Uh, it's totally fine to dis distance yourself from political discourse entirely when it stresses you out. Yeah. I'm not stressed or anything, it's just... <sighs> There's... I, I, I'm, uh, maybe, maybe this is a teachable moment for me and to, and, and to everybody else, but... Throwing down a paragraph and then being like, What do you think? About, about a pretty... Something that happened like five years ago? What's that supposed to mean? They connect at the edges. Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. God, I love that announcer so much. Connecting blocks at their edges eh, it's just about is the key to successfully scaling con the tower. Context. Strive for the goal by creating a path step by step. I will. I got it. Yeah, when you start to see this pattern, you're like, oh, thank God. Oh, boy. Actually, no, I'm not. Never mind. Think about this. Think, 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 think. Okay. Edge. All right. Oh, wait, no, that's... Yes, this is fine. Edge. Where is this? What is this ringing? Nah, night. Ain't no problem. How's the diet going? Still on 1500? Yeah, I gave myself a bit of a break on the 4th. We'll meet again. I had a burger, and I had some cocktails, and I felt very American. But uh, that'll be the last time I'm going to splurge for a while. When you hear the bell ringing, you'll know that you've almost reached the goal. Ah, uh, the majority of discourse raises my blood pressure. Lift to the left, right, and center podcast, and that's about it. Located on the left. Yeah, I, uh... See how much further you have to go. I take in information, and I try to be aware of things, and I certainly have my own opinions that I, am you know, can sometimes be a little too loud about, especially on stream. But, um... Edge. This makes Edge. this fall, yeah. What the... I got it. But, uh, no, I... I've... I have not... I certainly invest almost no effort into trying to convince anyone of anything. Fucked up a long time ago. Hmm. Oh. Tend to prefer watching, say, C-SPAN over punditry? Oh, me too. I can't stand... I can't stand po political commentary. Because kind of by design, your brain wants to fight and reject opinions and analysis you don't agree with. Oops, I hit... Ah, I hit from beginning. Why did I do that? Why is that even the default option? Seems like from checkpoint should be the automatic thing. No, I, uh... All right, I got it. All right. Yeah, I'm... Uh, maybe at some point this is going to backfire on me for being close-minded or something, but I feel like I've got a pretty good fix on, on what I believe. I don't really need other people telling me or analyzing things for me. Oh. Wait, well, how come you can't crawl under like that? Hmm. 
got it. Plus, I feel like, I don't know. With with exceptions, a lot of punditry has agenda. Um, and I'm, boy, am I sick. I'm just sick to death of uh, agendas. All right, I got it. Sometimes the agenda is purely this is what people want to hear, so I'm going to make a, like an opinion product for them. That's that's most of, honestly, what drives a lot of uh, punditry these days. Right, I, got it. I got so sick of seeing that on YouTube. Like, it, it's basically all of YouTube. Every, like, right, I got it. person turning turning opinion into product or basically creating creating persona to, to sell to sell image to people because it's comforting to be told you're right ah, but see so so Barry you didn't explicitly create it but it uh, you know there's there's truth to the politics and religion uh, axioms okay so let me think about this I can hmm. Even though I've, I myself have talked uh, at length about both of those things today, so I really have no right to. Uh... There we go. Oh wait, no, not yet. Okay, almost, almost. <laughs> I was like, got it. Yeah. Yeah. C-SPAN is is pretty good info. I. I, I, sh I plug them a lot, but PBS NewsHour is probably the the most comprehensive and actually journalistically sound uh, news show. And it's free. Oh, shit. If you consider playing Resident Evil 2 Remake S+, uh, I've had fleeting thoughts. But I think, uh... Now, a new game is about to begin. There are too many other awesome sure games I want to play. There's something extra special for you behind the next door. Let's meet again tomorrow night. I look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. PBS gang, rally up. Yeah, it's, it's a shame more people don't talk about it. It is, it is, it is boring, but information ought to be boring. If it's not boring, then that means it's got opinion, and it's got agenda, and it's got fire behind it. What a terrible dream. Oh yeah, you like Hylix too? Man, that game rules so hard. I need to read in, read behind that game a little bit. If only we could watch these cutscenes sub with Japanese VO. I think you can, but uh. Nothing but support for my English voice actors. Right here, what's PBS? Oh, Public Broadcasting Service. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, in the United States, we do actually have publicly supported programming, um, like the BBC, but no, no, I'm just, uh, it's just a tiny, it's just one channel that makes a grip of shows, no, and yeah, uh, okay. they they keep having their funding yeah. cut. So thanks for that, government. Um, sorry. I'm fine with bias and media as long as they're upfront about it and don't distort things. Well, that's the thing though. <laughs> like, it's it's not in anyone's interest to be upfront about it. It is in everyone's interest to present bias as as fact because it feels real good. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! So much louder in the cutscenes. Were you even listening? Uh, sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> it matters whether you're aware of bias. Yeah, I mean, the, the loudest and most successful biased uh, punditry platforms insist that they are not biased, or at the very least, Try their hardest to phrase their their takes and, and analysis as fact. I mean, they literally say it all the time. Like, that's just the facts, folks. 
do like you stuff like that to make it sound no, but obvious so like any simpleton with this data set would reach this conclusion how to change gauze Ugh. i hope you're doing okay here two sugars she knows me so well hey Catherine. humans are innately biased and uh, to pretend to be objective it's ridiculous you mean like yeah I think I think the system that we have certainly motivates people to represent bias as, as fact, both from the creator and from the audience. There's zero repercussion for being a bad faith actor, and only rewards. It just gets you an audience. It gets you devotees. And there's no watchdog out there. None. There's no like social social consciousness. Aside from occasionally, maybe somebody like will kick mm. Tucker, Tucker Carlson out of the restaurant or something. But I'm asking you. His facial hair makes me slightly uncomfortable. My yeah. Been calling me up and it's that vision of like Japanese scruff, where it's like four She's lines. About me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but. I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future. There used to be a standard, but Reagan eliminated it. Yeah, it's it's kind of gross. You can track a lot of a lot of measurable decline in the United States to uh, policies in the 70s and 80s that uh, tried to deregulate and defund everything. And in other news, we have more on the recent correlation, though, not causation. Trying to be, be clear about my men. my bias, I guess. Streaming my dong. <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting five subs. Foul play has apparently not been Did the watchdog not used to be investigative journalism? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess that's a good point. Yeah, people that are still still reading like investigative sources. Yeah. Those reports still happen, and they still make some waves, but it just, uh, I think it's like there's a critical mass of the populace that just isn't getting moved anymore by that. You bet not. Come on, pick one. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. That was a sweet one take? Yeah. Oh, Atlas, this game is so styled. What else could the, um, the conversation minigame, basically writing text messages in the bathroom of the bar, is so good. It's one of the few times when, like, the game's aesthetic and mechanic and story all intersect so perfectly in a moment. It's like we're comfortable where we are. The fact that you have to like tap through different messages by deleting and rewriting the text, just like somebody might do in the bathroom of a bar when they're cheating on their girlfriend. She's always been um, spoilers. Type, right? But doesn't mean she'll <sighs> always be like that. So so good. It's not what I mean. This game's great. Besides, also makes me want to drink, but I'm not going to. Hey, I'm still looking for my soul. I think Seth bought uh, a set of coasters that have the bar trivia on the back. I told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. <laughs> what if you never meet your soul? Yeah, I played the game. Never get married. Uh, I'm playing another playthrough because it's a re-release, and I always wanted to play it again. You cheat? Are you going for the new girl? I will go with whatever fate decides me Ugh. or delivers me unto, go. which I feel like is the most Vincent. The boss seems like a really nice person. He said I could work here starting tomorrow. So everything's cool with you now? Mm -hmm. oh, way better. Hey, did old boss make any weird moves? Hey, Rin, come here. Uh. Uh, you played this game? Later. Oh, sorry, I already read that. My bad. Um, there was the other question. Anyway, Are you off the booze, Johnny? Did you hear about Paul? Incidentally, yes. Uh, there's no room in my diet for. Wait. That. No room in my diet for booze calories, dead. unfortunately. Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. Hmm. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? Sea of info is so much more vast. Apparently I feel almost like oversaturation in BD intake makes it hard to distinguish what matters. I feel like it's several hundred thousand percent intentional. I do too. It's a total tactic. Yeah. I think everybody kind of accidentally played into the same thing. I don't I don't know that it's been orchestrated by like some global Illuminati force, but I think market forces Market forces caused everything to tumble into that situation. And of course, when there's information saturation, you just want somebody to tell you what... You want somebody to analyze it for you. Well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning... And the more confident somebody sounds in what they're saying, the more likely you are to, to believe them. Especially if they're telling you something that... Uh, 
I had is incidentally reason. good for you. But I don't remember what it was about. Oh man. Like, here's what all the facts mean. Don't worry about that though. I'm telling you that you are the downtrodden class. And we need to get rid of them. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, alright? <laughs> the Lolly Lulelo. I'm I'm smoke screening for the reptilian uh space reptiles right now. Just yet. So why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. Mm, see ya. Oh! Pop-Tart, your husband got you Animal Crossing? That's awesome! Johnny Riggs, I, I wish for that too. Um... But there are many bad actors, um, elected officials, and media types alike that do everything they can to inflame divisive rhetoric. And that stuff matters. Um, I've had people use actual phrases to me that they say. Like, it's, it's obvious that they're just sort of like getting their marching orders mentally from, from very angry and divisive people. And that leads to a whole culture of divisiveness. It's been wild to see. Seems like even she doesn't know. Now how could that be? You should find out. Is this a Wendy's man? Everything okay? Now I want Wendy's. Yeah. I had broccoli and scallops. I wanted to say thanks. Not just for saving me, but also for finding me a job and a place to stay. Put I'm the glasses so on ASAP. I couldn't remember anything. Alright. I'm so glad I met someone as nice as you, Vincent. I can't remember what uh really? What the glasses do? Were they... Were they in the original game? No, they were not bacon wrapped. That is not on my diet. Roast scallops. In no oil. Just a little cooking spray. And garlic, salt, and pepper. Pretty simple. And very fast, but... Lean protein, baby. You got a mail. From time to time, you'll receive texts at the bar. This is... Okay. So when Steph jokes about being literally on the phone... This is what she's referring to. There's a sheep on a phone who is literally on the phone. I think it's funny. You can respond to someone. Give it a try. He's a business sheep. Best to let you see through everyone's clothes. Oh, come on. Yeah, I guess it's that kind of stream. Like I said, I'm having dinner with some old friends. It's surprising. Many of them are already married and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone too. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is... Aww. I don't like this as much. Dang. Did they change the way that this works? Maybe the text messages are different. I thought it was so cool the aesthetic of like... Tap... Like deleting and tabbing through messages. Maybe people didn't get it. Wild game is the leanest, cleanest protein. That's probably the only reason I haven't ballooned it up to 300 pounds. Well, like, over fish? Or, like, eggs? I guess eggs have some cholesterol, but... It's hard for me to imagine wild game is a... Is a leaner protein than, like, fish or shrimp. I mean, maybe. I guess shrimp have some cholesterol. But it's everyone's clothes? Okay. Alright, Iceman. Sold. I actually watched uh, The World Is Not Enough last night. It's the third... Pierce Brosnan Bond movie that has a uh... crap I'm blanking on her name anyway there's there are there's a sequence where he like puts on x-ray specs and there's like f a solid minute of the movie that's just devoted to Bond ogling women and it's just like man that is shit is gross like how is that even okay in 99 no it's not the Halle Berry one that is a uh, die another day which is e Denise Richards thank you yeah, Die Another Day is, is a spectacularly horrible movie, but that one's pretty bad. It's fun how, like, the, the Brosnan Bonds, like, are on a linear path, starting with Goldeneye. That's actually really good. There's some parts about it that are dated, but it was pretty progressive for 94, 5, for a Bond movie. And then just, it just slides down in a linear fashion. Each one is worse than the last. Goldeneye's a bit too much. You think so, Milwaukee? Yeah, Goldeneye is the only good one. I mean... 
I would say, all told, there are like five, four good Bond movies total. Yeah, no, Die Another Day is, is an amazing work. It's not a good movie, but... Uh, Brosnan was worse Bond, do you think so? I thought he was. I thought he was really good in, in Goldeneye. But like, Doctor No, Living Daylights is pretty good. Um, Casino Royale, um, Skyfall, Goldeneye. Man with a Golden Gun, maybe. Goldfinger, kind of. Timothy Bolton, campiest Bond. Oh no, Roger Moore was campiest Bond. But yeah, I don't walk into Bond expecting great social commentary. <laughs> no, you're right. It, it's weird how it... Bond used to just be campy, stupid fun. Like, same format, same same formula, let's crank one out every year. And then, yeah, I guess starting with Casino Royale, suddenly the, the movies had to mean something. Uh, I didn't like Quantum of Solace very much. I thought the, I thought the directing was pretty rough. Bang. Okay, well, at least you go one at a time. We don't need to be tied down. That'll just stress you out more. Yeah, gaslight her. Let's catch a movie sometime. See ya! Peace! Okay. Spectre was tough to watch, yeah. Change Vincent's inner ID. I was thinking about Spectre last night. Um... Spectre, like, legitimately is just a big parody, satire, celebration of Bond tropes. But it's weird because I feel like nobody told the rest of the movie that. Like, all the writing has just, like, set piece after set piece from other Bond films. Of, like, the train car fight with Dave Bautista, which was kind of a waste of Dave Bautista from, like, from Russia with Love. It had, it had Snow Bond, which you only really saw in, um, the... It's a ridiculously long Roger Moore Bond. Um, can't remember the one with the horses. Whatever. Um, so I feel like so much of Spectre was just tr like it went from being the most serious as attack Bond to the most goofy Bond. Yeah, I, it was trying to be like Roger Moore, wacky Bond, and like kind of self-aware, stupid, tropey Bond. I felt like it was trying to be Kingsman, but only only one person on set knew that. Yeah, Spectre was after Skyfall, and it was not good. It was very tonally confused. Like, Craig was still trying to be Daniel Craig Bond, and he wasn't being Goofy Bond. Vincent's words and actions ah. will affect the story. Also, I don't think Bond has ever changed tone in the middle of one actor's run. I, I feel like they always, like, whenever there's a new actor, they kind of reboot the tone of the series. But I feel like Spectre was supposed to be a wacky Bond, and <sighs> just didn't play. Hey. How many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. <sighs> Bringing up her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. You got a mail. Oh boy. Are you, what, drinking at the Stray Sheep again? You know you have work tomorrow. Jeez, take it easy, okay? By the way, I received a photo that was taken at the party we went to after the wedding the other day. It's of me being forced to entertain the crowd, but it does bring back some old memories. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to see this picture. I want to see this pic. Ooh. Which one opens up with the De, La, De Los Muertos? That was Spectre. I keep hearing Daniel Craig supposedly despises playing Bond, but I never can, can find an interview saying as such. I remember there was an interview where somebody asked, like, what can today's men learn from Bond? And he was just like, nothing. He has nothing to teach anyone. Um, that was the most curt I think he ever got. But I think, I think that leans into, like, a certain narrative that the people who play Bond uh, don't like it. I, I know that, what was it, George Lazenby hated it. I don't know, I don't know the story behind that, but that's, that's the one I remember. Yeah, 
can show the image again. I need to know if Fidachi was in the background. Oh. Uh, yeah, I can back out. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's him, but that'd be cute. Oh, Craig said it was hard on his body and people absolutely ran away with it? Gotcha. Boy, that's a really... That's a big-ass open... Open thing to leave somebody on. I don't know. I still feel like going home today. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he said something like he was exhausted after Spectre or something and people took that... That he hated playing Bond. Said to get plastic surgery pretty much after every movie for some injury or another. Really? Wow. Um, I still playing COD Mobile. Uh, I, I'll I'll play a few rounds on my phone here and there, but the the particular run of the sponsorship I had is over. I don't mind. You had to meet with a friend, right? Yeah. Oh, it was a woman. Just so you know, I think you knew her in high school. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's a physical role, and he started old. Yeah. None of the other bonds were held to what Craig was expected to do. Not to mention, like, the... Not only have the expectations of stunt work in, in action movies gone way, way up, but the expectations of principal actors have gone way up. Uh, I feel like it was much more acceptable back in the day to, to use stuntmen. Um, like, Jackie Chan kind of kicked off the whole thing of, like, <laughs> he's an actor and a stunt performer. And then Tom Cruise really grabbed it and ran with it. But now there's this sort of... Everyone expects this tingle of knowing that the principal actor also is doing all the stunt work. Well, there's a lot of people here. Which, yeah. My crowd. But that stuff grinds you down. There's a reason there's another piece of meat that does it. And there's a reason that that person usually is just a body double. You put enough clothing on. It's fun to track, actually. Excuse me. I, uh, I something interesting to keep track of is that when there's an action film and they move into an action sequence, try and try and spot the times when the character, like, puts on face paint or a mask or has a, uh, a helmet on or a cap or anything that, like, obscures something about their physical presence. Because it's it's fun to see sometimes when they, they get a stunt actor or a stunt performer that is close to a body double, but maybe has some aspects about their, their physicality that doesn't match. So they put them in like a really bulky bodysuit or give them like a padded armor vest or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's fun to kind of see those bits. There was like a... Gosh. Uh, I've thought about it. I'm still going to say it. I think it was like the fifth Universal Soldier movie? had like fights between uh, Jean-Claude and um, Dolph Lundgren again but boy those fellas are old and like they had them wearing these like bulky armor suits plus face paint so you could basically have any living human um, play those roles Where am I? and they would still look the Last same dream again? hey Diction thank you for the thank you for the raid Was that the bar and this girl Does this run well on switch I mean, you're looking at it. Can't remember. It's running well enough, I think. What's going on? How's it going, man? Welcome, welcome, dictors, right. dictioners. You the new guy from last night? Boys, you're that guy from playing some Big Catherine. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on. Really? Many blocks have unique characteristics such as cracked blocks and immovable blocks. Uh, Daredevil one takes are good for that. Usually as the main actor go in one door at the start of the fight and the stunt guy comes, then comes out there. After all the fighting, he will fall a frame and the actor comes back. Yeah. It, slide of hand, like, to me, stunt work is exactly the same as like, kind of like video games about how they they evoke a sensation or create a create an illusion of immersion um stunt work is so fascinating to me because it's all about it's all about yeah it's all about distraction it's it's about creating the illusion of of impossible physical tasks sometimes it's not 
Like, some, sometimes the point is that the camera's just catching everything that's happening. This is on Switch. Yeah, it came out today on Switch. So that's, that's why I picked it up. Oh. This is where people died. Stop it. I need you to grab this. Shit. Well, I'm fucked. Ooh, boy. Ah. Yeah, big F's in the chat for Skeet. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Now's not the time to be dead. Shit. Okay, you get... Hmm, okay. Oh, this is not good. the Dark Souls of edging. Yeah, this game's intense. Really faint sheep sounds are really throwing me off. I think someone is yelling at me outside. <laughs> they're all they're all trapped and buying and bleh. If you can't find a clear path to walk, try looking for a new path along the edges. I always wanted to see exactly how the story played out, but never wanted to play through the torturous puzzles, so this is perfect. We'll drop down to the edge whenever you These puzzles the are dragon. bad. I'm playing on hard too, because I, I really liked the games challenge and mechanics, but I played through it on normal the first time, I think, and it was still very tough. So, I'm excited to see just how bad it get. Ah, crap. This is... Uh... I see you're still alive and kicking. Okay, I can get to that one over there. Alright. You can't see ahead of you. Try looking around. Even without dragging a block. You can easily hang down by running off a ledge where there is no step down. This technique is vital to your success. Be sure to get comfortable with it. All right, I got it. Picking up a mystic pillow will grant you an additional undo until you reach the goal. Gather as many as you can. Can do. Whoop, whoop, nope, 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 okay. Fuck. Oh, shield. Actually, that.
came pretty far. Good job. Whew. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. Yeah, milk. Th that that that's that's I hate to to keep repeating myself, but like this game is is like phenomenal. It it it, is, it truly is the complete package in that it is it is a fundamentally new game mechanic that they explore extensively. They make a ton of very challenging levels based on the, this interaction of mechanics. Um, the game mechanics also tie into the story and the themes of the game, because you're climbing away from something. It'll become obvious as the game goes on. And then the idea that you're like shuffling blocks and trying to outrun inevitability while doing this like stupidly menial task is, is so much what the game's all about. Um, it is a bit of a bummer because I feel like the game tonally kind of loses direction in the last half third. It gets a little too anime for me, but you know, uh, I I, re I really tried to espouse for this game back when it came out because that was definitely in the era of everything being Call of Duty, and I was like, guys, you can't you can't be like jaded about games when something like Catherine is around. Who's uh, everyone? Yeah, still no sequel. I mean, Atlas takes their time. If this, if they put out stuff like this, I'm okay with them taking as long as they need. Once you've crossed a checkpoint, you can retry from that spot. Be sure to run through it whenever you see one. Shit, I didn't, I did not want to do that. Checkpoint! There's one thing I love, it's cheerful checkpoint announcers. I think I might have killed myself. Yeah, I can't. You can't make blocks go back up. I... Can the rock crush events when it falls? Yes. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't explicitly go up every time. Oh, it does go to checkpoint by default. Okay. I was hoping to, it'd be fun if that like death kind of went bang like every time you die, like it seemed like a gunshot or something. Shit! Stop doing that, Vince. Hmm, that was a bad idea. I mean, at a certain ah oh, man, I messed the pattern up again. So, mm. Frick. <sighs> I guess if you if you die, it counts as one death. Okay. Okay. All right, I got it. This is a good pattern to try and have to figure out. Edge. Edge. So, let me think. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I had to like have to glare at it until the. I don't remember what the coins are for. Not bad. I can't remember. Is there like an unlock system or something? You find yourself smiling more, smiling more weed now that you're drinking less. Uh, well, I mean. You survived. Who are you? Maybe. Sheep? It's not exactly a, 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 a total a total unified surrogate, but it is It is good. It does remote I guess it does it can fill kind of the same void. Wish I shouldn't talk about it like that, but one thing's for certain though. If we don't I was already not drinking that much. So it's not like there's a giant gap in my life. I pretty much pushed it I pretty much pushed it mostly out. Every night we're kidding. 
I just decided to indulge on the fourth and then was like, man, it's just not, it's not worth it anymore. I'm working too hard to get calories down for one night of, one night of, uh, sweet cocktails and then a, a sour stomach for an entire day after. If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way out. Like I said, there's no guarantee. When was the last Rock Band stream? It's been a while. Keeps us sane. Uh, I think I fixed my stuttering issue, Al Rock, so I'm definitely going to be doing lock, Rock Band again the soon. Dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Coins are for score. You can also buy items. Okay. Yeah. I'm afraid you're on your own. Cocktails are nice. I love cocktails so much. No, wait. I'm still going to have some now and then, hey. but uh, not like eight in a night. Be serious. Oh, thank you, Johnny. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with where things are going. Mostly, I'm just glad that I think I've discovered a sustainable. Talk to you diet that puts me at a calorie deficit, which means that in a few months, it's possible that I may actually attain some fitness goals that have been eluding me for over a decade. I don't really have a go-to cocktail, Guru Drew. I like, I like going places that have bespoke or unique cocktail menus, because I just like trying, a, I like trying a ton of different stuff. Um, I, I enjoy the inventiveness of cocktails uh, and mixology. I'm vaping right now. I have an eye riser Q tower. It's rad. Yeah, I I've debated, I've debated exploring, uh, like dry vapes and stuff like that. There's really no reason not to. It's California, and like, vape oil is fun, but it just doesn't hit the same. Same with edibles. It just doesn't quite hit the same. And if you can get the same, close to the same effect as like actually smoking weed without inhaling combustion. That just sounds like a win-win. Dumb sheep. It's like ultimate Bill Paxton sheep. I just don't like the carcinogens of smoking. Yeah, Johnny. Same, same here. It's there's there's nothing healthy about it. Uh, the carcinogens, that is. But I'm pretty sure this this is a wild assumption. Somebody in chat, please correct me. Holy crap, Chum and Big Hoss. Oh my god, you you left me a huge tip three hours ago. Are you still around? I hope so. I'll have to use that next time. Um, but I was gonna say again. Please correct me if this is wrong, but. Does dry vaping prevent the actual combustion and carcinogen from being in what you inhale? We're discussing technique. Or is it just the key to like maybe much low lower? Maybe this will Oh yeah, they have the, technique I found. the whirlwind technique or whatever? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Remember, this is Todd's technique. I love, I love his hair. Ah. Uh, Pull out the same number of blocks as the number of steps you mean to climb up. Yeah, then you can make a little stair step. Yes, at the right temperature? Okay. It's more like baking the flour versus just lighting it on fire. So it releases cannabinoids, but doesn't actually, like, burn? You'll have the support you need to reach higher and higher, like a pyramid. No carcinogens, assuming you're doing it right. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll look into that. Consider using this one too. Like why why not? To explain the slider. Pull out two blocks vertically, then slide the bottom one over. That's the big one that I have to remember. That is like such a golden technique um, to to climb straight up, but it does require that you have like a step to the left or right from where you start and two vertical blocks you can pull. So, I also get you real stone. Hell yeah. You can reuse the already vaped flour for edibles later. Damn, really? That's awesome. Yeah, I've never baked my own my own edibles or anything like that. Remember this basic action. That's efficient though. Utilizes the properties of edges. Since edges connect, you can make a stairway even in tight spots. You have a wax pen that uses a ceramic chamber that heats up using a battery at its base. It's useful because it's uniform surface of the heat. That's sounds damn, dude. This is some, uh, but you didn't know. Cadillac of... <laughs> yeah, I, did. I didn't actually. Anyway, what I Cadillac of getting stoned. 
Yeah, economic. I know. Oh, homemade edibles scare me. Too many bad experiences. Yeah, I. How would you even? There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find. How do you even measure that? If you're using like pre-vaped dregs, how do you even know how much TLC, THC is left in there? I mean, it's full of TLC. Don't get me wrong. But... Hey, we're in this together, bud. Just calm down. Are you saying that to try to bring my guard down? I'm not falling for that. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Some asshole pushed me too. Next time, I'm gonna start shoving or I'll die. Everyone's just out to save themselves. I do love that they also give you an indicator when there's new dialogue or not. Be useful. I wish I wished RPGs would do that more often. What's with all these damn sheep? That's all I want. You can't, and then you end up getting so stoned you sweep the carpet to keep from freaking out. That's what I would worry about, yeah. Give me a break. You're just rolling around on the floor. I'll have to use that next time. I sometimes I clean when I get a little a little freaked out, yeah. It's like if if it goes overboard, then I, then I enter like I enter my mind palace and like uh, kind of focus on the the things I should be doing and the ways that I'm not the person I want to be and all this stuff. So to make up for it, I clean. I'm like, well, if I clean, then I must like I'm al I'm allowed this bit of selfishness if I also do the dishes. You know, it's it's some weird bargaining tool that my mind instinctively goes back to, which I guess is probably a good thing. Uh, I guess it could be worse. There's someone in there, right? Why don't you take a seat? Oh, yeah. Hey, long time no see. Or rather, nice to see you here. And welcome to the confessional. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. I wanted to clean the carpet, but the noise of the vacuum was too much, so I swept the fucking carpet. I sense a force of change rising up. What exactly happened in the other world? I'm just gonna call call this out, like... You lambs are all destined to die here anyway. Oh, you, if you like go heavy on weed, man, you, you end up sweeping the carpet, and then you fall asleep, and you wake up and everything's fine. And now you have a swept carpet, but... Some questions. You go too hard on alcohol and you one. fucking get in a car and wreck it or you have for your punch a hole in the wall, barf on yourself. It's just, it's just, matches your true feelings. it feels so much more civilized, even though it's a little silly. All right. Um, oh, this is purely for me, though. I was going to, I was going to wrap, um, the carpet is ruined because of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of a swept carpet, you have a barfy carpet. Um. I guess fundamentally alcohol is a poison and THC is not. Right? It's not classified as a poison. It's not it's not toxic. Um and I'm saying that as somebody who loves booze. Super love it. Um so what I was going to do is I was gonna like I was gonna call Steph over and we were gonna discuss these questions. <sighs> hmm. But I feel like that could that could really hurt. Chat answers looks, yeah. That's never been me though. I mean, I gotta be honest. I've never really had a type either. What's the what's the word that every annoying prick says? I'm a sapiosexual or whatever. Make a poll. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Poll started. You have one minute. No type is in no preference. I think there are there are, there are probably like individual attributes that I like, but I wouldn't say that like I couldn't describe it as broadly as like hair color. Yeah, right. Headshot. Look it up. That's the most pretentious thing in the world. And I'm sure it exists, but people misuse it all the time as a as more of a brag on on themselves. <laughs> what about both? You can't do both. Uh uh. Bad bitches is the only thing that I like. You voted for each, because you need each. I mean, bo both is alpha shit for sure. 
Is it messed up that I think looks are a barrier to entry? No. Um, I think it's... Hey, good personality's got it. I think it's okay to a certain level to know what gets you going and realize that if somebody just doesn't have those things, that like the chemistry won't be there. Um, I think... I think there's a lot of like... We're told a lot of stories about people like... It's bad to prejudge somebody and uh and like write somebody off because they don't have physical features you want but i mean if you're looking for a partner you can't control you can't control how you you can't control that animal part of you you know whatever weird jumble of brain wires makes you really like noses of this shape or chins like that like i don't i don't know that it's necessarily on you to uh to like i don't know i feel like it's um it's okay to like what you like it's just I think I think it crosses a line if it's if it becomes fetishistic of like it's one thing to be like you know what I just like women with, with darker hair but if that then turns into if a woman has dark hair then you start like approaching them purely for that and through conversation you're not even interested in getting to know them you just really want to have sex with that hair that's when it goes wrong so I think it's fine to be attracted to a physical thing as long as that's not where it stops where, where you have to recognize that someone, just because they have the shoulders you like, there's still a, a person in there with dimension and value and hopes and dreams and a past and likes and dislikes and all that. Being with someone that I find unattractive is difficult. Yeah, but a bad personality will never last. I personally need both. Yeah, that's what makes the, that's what makes the question difficult. Is there's no perfect answer. Yeah, of course everybody goes to personality. Here's the thing: like, unless there's something about somebody that you find visibly and physically attractive, I feel pretty strongly, with a few exceptions of like maybe pen pals or getting catfished online and going with it anyway. Like, something's got to motivate you to initiate that conversation. Something's got to motivate you to want to talk to a person. Um, I guess it's also possible to just be total friends with somebody and then suddenly realize like accidental boners just because of the, the depth of your relationship. But uh, I still feel like there's got to be a spark there. There's got to be a spark for the flame. Um, friend of mine. Oh, this is interesting. Friend of mine judges me for being into fit women because she thinks that implies I judge unfit women. That's been a case for arguments between us and it's really annoying. Hmm. I guess I guess that can be an issue if there's somebody who, like personality-wise, you write off because they're a little, maybe a little a little pudgy. Um, yeah, it, it gets into weird territory when what you prefer is, or is perceived to be the results of actions versus somebody's natural makeup. Um, but headshot, maybe maybe the other way to think about it or phrase it is that. For you, physical fitness and physical activity is super important, and you want somebody to share those activities with or share uh, share that lifestyle with. So, while somebody's personality may be great, if you're in the gym six days a week and your partner's at home, you know that's that's something you guys won't share. <sighs> yeah, when the preference becomes hardline rules, or the preference is all there is, when when it's just preference, like. Some dudes that get a little, get a little intense about their like ethnic likes. When that's when that's all it is is just ethnicity. And it's like oh. How the fuck am I supposed to get the hang of this? Hey, I think I think there's a lot of dimension and dynamic to that, and yeah, it can it can get. But I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb too. Oh yeah. As you climb, you'll run into strange items. It's tough because I think I think we all we all have to to use a to use a, a very appropriate phase. We all have skin in that game, you know. We've all felt judged. We've all felt marginalized. Um, whether it's happened or not, I think we've all felt it. I don't know what you're talking so about. it's only natural, I think, to react strongly to people talking about. You can only how they evaluate partners but each one because I think to some degree discussions like that are always gonna 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 like fire our baggage whatever level we have make us feel like what we have to fight for our kind you know you can always undo. I've heard I'm not racist my girlfriend is Asian a lot 
Well, I mean, that's just a perk, really. You bag, your, you bag yourself an Asian, that means you can never be racist, and that's just a... Who doesn't want that? You know? Shoot. Who doesn't want to get out a racism-free card? Damn it, man. I was messing that up bad. I feel like anyone can like and dislike what they want in someone else's business, really. That only counts the one death? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. To a degree. To a degree. I... I think, and, and I, I really have to, I have, fellas, I gotta, we, I think we gotta take this one on the chin, because we do it. Um, I think, I think specifically when it comes to, like, guys, how they will, they will turn their, uh, they'll turn their like into, like, when, when you start interacting with somebody else based on that like, it's kind of where it, where it gets funky, I think. <sighs> Am I not... Like, you're only talking to this person because they're Asian. Looks can be indicative of personality? Eh. I don't know about that. I think, I think looks imply personality. Jeez. Shit. I can't do any of the tricks! Proms. This is rough. I feel like I keep I keep making a mistake somewhere. Great. I was trying to be fancy, and I legitimately screwed that up badly. Well, there was no reason to do that. Whatever. Okay, wait, so if I do this, do that. Okay, here we go. When you use a white block, a 3x3 three three platform will appear at your feet. It's not hard to have one type when you go to art school and everyone dresses the same? Hmm. That's not exclusive to guys. Plenty of women will dismiss men based on height. That does happen. Um, I don't think it's quite as extreme, though. Like, dismissal is one thing. Pers actively pursuing is another. So, if if a guy dismisses a girl because she has blonde hair, whatever. Um, but if if a guy pursues a blonde a girl because she has blonde hair, now another person is affected. And you can argue that like the missing of an opportunity is being affected, but that's different than somebody like slide into your DMs and making you feel uncomfortable. So I don't know that those two are necessarily entirely uh, comparable based on based on who's affected in the end. Uh, also, Bruce, wel welcome. Hello, Gooses. Welcome, you guys. Playing some Catherine. The hardest goddamn video game ever made, apparently. I'm playing on hard mode, too, so... This one's rough. Yeah. Now, uh... We're gonna get into some, some heady topics, I think, based on the... Con the uh, thematic content of this game. Oh, that's right. Sheep will, sheep will climb with you. I forgot about that. They'll shove you out of the way and pursue you. Do they follow in your footsteps? I can't remember. I think as long as you make a path for them, they will, they will track you. Shit. I think, yeah, I think I can do this. Nope, I can't. Fuck. Darg! Uh. 
my voice different? My mic's in a different spot, so maybe. Hey, Gilder, good to see you. Thanks for the resub, too. Now's not the time to be dead. Didn't even hit a checkpoint. Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, I got it. Alright, I got it. Alright. <laughs> Oh yeah, Ride, Ride to Hell is, is a hell of a game, huh? God bless it. I never actually played it myself, but... I remember being really excited for it because it, it looked like B-grade trash when it came out. I wanted to play it because it, it seemed like the kind of game that had it would have easy Xbox achievements. Use that hot new pyramid technique. Yeah, I'm doing really well, man. Appreciate the kind sentiments. Shit, I did not, I thought there was a block under that. Uh. Wait. Undo. Nope, still not. Edge. Damn it. Edge. Edge. Damn. Edge. Shoot, man. Booah. Hmm. If you go back to Freud, all the stuff is decided by who raised you and childhood friends. Yeah, but my understanding is Freud's been pretty wildly, pretty wildly uh, outmoded at this point, right? I was just... Granted, I'm not in the scene, so don't have any hard opinions here, but... I thought that was just like pop psychology that had been kind of largely tested and disproven. Again, is Catherine or is there more to the game? There, oh shit! There's more to the game. Um, there's a new, there's a new Catherine. Hmm. Okay, so. Uh, Don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually didn't specifically want to do that, but I don't regret it now that I did it. Shit. Maybe that was not the right call. Modern psychology is basically Freud was wrong, and here's why. I gotta keep keep going after it. Freud was an important starting point, but we've gotten quite a bit better. Okay. No matter what pops up, stay. If it's on Switch, wouldn't there be drifting problems? I mean, maybe. Catherine is just advanced Cubert. It kind of is, yeah. I was, I was kind of, um, I was grousing that Catherine is one of the few games that is completely unique in gameplay mechanic. Um. Um, but, uh, no, it's Q-Bird vibes, for sure. Missing your Bloodstain and Deadly Premonition gameplay. Um, Deadly Premonition did not come out today. Um, did Bloodstained 2 come out? 
Um, I was going off of the, the Wikipedia page for releases in 2020, which was inaccurate. So, I didn't know if it... I thought for... I thought it seemed abnormally fast from announcement to, uh... Announcement to release, but... He's probably fine. Actually, wait, shoot. Okay, I can't do that too much more. Uh... If I move that, it's gonna knock the tower down. Uh... Okay, hold on a second. Let me... This. Shit, I'm, I, yeah, I'm screwed. Didn't go fast enough. Uh, yeah, I haven't played him yet. You rest in peace. The mechanics are nothing like Hubert. Yeah, it's it's blocks you jump. Anime is very Freudian, particularly the weird maternal stuff. Oh yeah. Well, I read that more as this is anime fans. God bless you, I love you. But I think all the all the weird yeah maternal shit in anime is is largely because anime is filled with dudes who uh, were never able to outgrow. Having a having a having a provider, um, dudes that very much in society have not been able to like fend for themselves or adjust, so they need they need a mom figure in their lives to satisfy that. It's part of the fantasy. Shit! What? Are you serious? Oh, I'm I am dicked. Wow! I didn't expect there to be two gaps there. <laughs> Heard of the AI that discovered how to cheat in Qbert? No? How do you cheat in Qbert? Climb around the edge. Ah, I keep forgetting the edge. Keep forgetting the edge hang. Yeah, that's that's straight up like the I remember even back in Quatherin Classic. That was something I was I would continuously forget about is the ability to hang and shimmy around, yeah. It's a no item run. No, I'm just I'm just not using it. For no reason other than I just don't want to. Oh, also wasn't thinking about it. I thought I would use an item at the end, but... Uh, okay, so... Wait, how did I... How did I mess this up? Okay. Wait, what edge? What edge can you shimmy off of? There wasn't an edge there. To play House Party, the Game Grumps are in it. I I saw enough of it. Um, I saw enough of it uh, during the Funhouse gameplay. I don't really need to play it. I don't think. Not that I'm like offended by it or anything. Didn't mean didn't mean to make it sound like that. But I feel like I've I feel like I enjoyed it. Enjoyed enough. Enjoyed enough of what I saw. Bleh. I'll try. What am I doing? Undo. Eh? Edge. Time to use this. Like, okay, fine. Probably wouldn't be streamable on Twitch. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. I'd probably be fine. Shimmy on the unmovable blocks. I have to get to them first, unless I'm completely missing a, a point in which I could get to them. It's like, I can't shimmy around there. Like, you can't... Yeah, I have to move, dude. Oh. Just a, just a little light murder. He's gonna die anyway, it's fine. Like, definitely can't can't do anything there. Yeah, I'm not sure what what shimmy you guys are referring to, but that's okay. Damn it! 
should go to the El Tepeyac for a six pound burrito. $30 feeds four. <laughs> that sounds like, sounds like good eatings. It's a man who knows, knows how to enjoy life. Like a man who has appetite. I had it the first time. Oh, okay. See where the guy died? Drop. Oh, get there. Oh, okay, yeah. Do have to remember how to do that, though. Shit. Why am I. Hold on. I can't remember where I got that. I, I need one more block. I, I know I have an item for it, so. I might as well use that. There's no block under there. There we go. No. Motherfuck. There's not one under this block either. Nope. So if I do that, then I'm I am dicked. Man. Huh. Can't remember specifically what combo of blocks I moved to get over there the first time. It's crazy how like just one block moving one way or the other makes such a difference. Yeah, I could use my block, but I don't wanna. You know what makes it even worse? I got two. I got two blocks. You pulled one out when you didn't need to pull one out. Yeah, I know, but like... So I did this, then I pulled this over here. And then... Then what? I think I shoved that, and then maybe this. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's what I did. There we go. You survived. Impressive. That's right. First try. First try every try. Itchy inside. Thanks for the sub. It's you. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Man, video games are great. Still, how many people died trying to come here? People? I don't... Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep. But all these sheep, they're really human. There's they're got sheeple. to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to... Don't you go into a confession booth? Yeah, I'm about to. But, I do have an idea. It's, the next, it's like the alternating phase of the game. The you do a chunk of puzzles and then you go to an elevator confessional where you have to next. ask a difficult question. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful now. Something big? Still, you're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, yeah. we'll meet again. Yeah. Hey, wait! I remember playing the arcade game. Uh, right. That's the crazy thing is not only is was there the main game, but landings, you could learn tips on how to climb. <sighs> Professor Sheep. Moving blocks around mindlessly won't work. Try to pick up some useful techniques here. Ooh. See you, Scott Joseph. New techniques will be written down by the other sheep. Thanks for watching. Such a good logo. Ah, it's all so good. I found right. this out just now. Lay those techniques on me, boys. We met before. You survived because of the techniques I found, huh? Tell me something. Let me show you another great technique. Now. This was an arcade game. No, there's an arcade game in the game that has a uh, that has more cla more levels in it. They're all like eight bits, eight bit themed. Push a block off a ledge with nothing below it. As long as the edges connect, 
the block will remain in place. Oh no, I think Deadly Premonition 2. Oh, what was the August release? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, Trey, you heading out too? All right. Oh yeah, got some stuff to research. All right, best of luck. Oh my Godzilla, thanks for the prime sub. Appreciate you. How's that? I'm a regular blockologist, huh? <laughs> sure. Hmm, that's a good start. Try to remember this one too. Allow me to explain pullback. If you climb up and find yourself stuck, try pulling a block and backing down. Yeah. Creating a stairway. You can pull back as much as your you runway. Go higher than you could before. The sheep give you the heebie-jeebies. Ah, they're good sheep. They're just tormented by impure thoughts. Um, well. Okay. You find any new moves, you come straight to me. Oh, it's a blaze. For doing well and staying safe, happy and sane. Glad to see you're playing this. Thought about picking up, but wanted to see some gameplay. Ah, well. Please, by all means, evaluate the game. I'm a huge fan, so I, uh, I'll i be a little positive on it. I'm also playing on hard. So, like, I have fundamentally fewer blocks to work with, but... That's a great game. However, it is, it is specifically what it is. And it would make total sense if somebody just wasn't into that. So, you don't have to worry about uh, me screaming at you if it's not your kind of game. But I will scream at you. For other reasons. Oh, look at this guy. It's that sheep again. I gotta play dead. I'm not a sheep. All the sheep here are really human. What? Really? I, I just pushed two sheep a little while ago. Yeah, kicking the floor. I've I've died quite a bit. I saw a sheep. I wouldn't say I'm struggling yet. I, I, can't get I don't think the expectation is that anyone plays this game without dying several times, just because of how the like there's there's not really a recovery mechanic aside from limited undos, and it's timed. So like, there's no way. Maybe the most galaxy brain people can like just approach this game and knock it out, but. Hey, what's up, K-Man? 1312, welcome. Please help me. Just gotta climb. Learn some techniques to get higher. Techniques. Yeah, it's learn by dying oh, game, yeah. Oh, come on, teach me. Also, hey SGK, good to see you. Maybe this will allow me to explain the tornado. The tornado. Yeah, it's when you have to like pull them down, back and forward. Again, as long as you have as long as you have a runway at the bottom. You can do this. I remember that being the telltale sign. If there was like a strip of three or two blocks that were connected and even and didn't crumble, then that's like, okay, I can get up three blocks by tornadoing back down over and over again. It is a time-consuming technique, though. It does take time to move all those blocks. I never felt like... I never felt like I wasn't able to use a technique because I ran out of time, though. It was always like faffing around and not really knowing what to do. But I found that as long as I had a working solution, the game usually gave you enough time to use it. It was never like, tornadoes take too long so you can't use them. Um, we'll see how hard works. It does seem like the timer's shorter on hard, but it could be me. I can't speedrun it, but my first run went quite well, I think. Yeah? Anna? Man, I, I died so much in this game. Even on normal. What do you want? No, nothing. Let's make it out alive. I'm not sure how I feel about being encouraged by a sheep. But I guess it's better than being a chef. Or even worse, a kitchen hand. Huh? What's a kitchen hand? I said hand, you idiot! Kitchen hand? Like a cook? Pay attention. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> kitchen band. <sighs> sorry for shouting, but you need to listen better. What's your opinion on being a, on being able to be a truly kind person? Do you think true altruism is possible? Uh, well, I mean, if you define altruism by intention, of course it's possible. Actually, let me take that back. Hmm. I think that that relies on the temperament, chemistry, and circumstances of the person you're describing. I think within the human condition, 100% nonstop. Life till death altruism is not possible. At some point, you have to do something for yourself, even if it's as simple as, like, eating and sleeping. Um, 
And then if it's, and then if you're going to make the argument of like, well, you're doing that so that you can help others later, then it becomes a judgment call about the investment and payoff of self-serving acts in service of staying alive so you can serve others. So I don't know. You the same as me? Uh, I think it is impossible simply because we are finite beings you know that have to eat and die. Like, I can't keep climbing. we have a necessity to live serve ourselves. Otherwise, we'll, we won't stay alive. Gotta stay calm. <sighs> Fat fingered, no worries. Do you have a smaller desk? I'm constantly rearranging stuff on my desk and like various configurations to do stuff. You could argue altruism itself is a fetish. Often people do good things for others because it makes them feel good. I mean, yeah, that... So, you're, you're talking about the concept of, like, a truly selfless act of something that you do that gives you no pleasure. And um, I don't know the, if there's a particular school of thought, but the idea of the true moral act is one that is done without any benefit at all, which includes self-satisfaction. So the true virtuous and moral act is one in which you have no emotional feeling at all either either positive or negative uh, I always think about it like um, driving somebody to the airport you don't want to do it but if it's your homie you do um, and you don't like charge them for it and you don't ask anything in return but that's just what you do for friends like that's just the rule and that is kind of the most <sighs> that's what Kant said but he can fuck off okay I don't I don't know anything else about that or that that or Kant's writings. Yeah, we watch Wednesday tomorrow. That is, that is true. Only sociopaths can be truly moral. It's not that you have the inability to feel. It's that in that specific instance, you perform an action without the emotional reward being a motivator. Oh, the time you got high and talked about existential stuff with Alan and Bruce while playing Tetris. I'm glad you like that. Uh, yes. Sepiche, or Sepike, thank you for bringing that up. The Good Place is a hilarious examination of altruism from a number of different angles. The Good Place is one of the smarter and more, like, socially conscious shows I've watched in a long time. It's also extremely goddamn funny. And none of its jokes have even an ounce of, like, negativity to them. In addition to being a show that is about morality, and it conducts itself in a very moral way around comedy, too. Um, it's a great, great show. Man, I love that show. There's a strange disconnect between the idea of selfishness and altruism. Does the internal reward negate the altruism? Maybe. Um, it's 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 it. It's a byproduct of trying to quantify emotion. In that, like, how then do you separate the reward of getting twenty dollars for doing a thing and the reward of feeling good for doing a thing? And then that that goes back to questions of upbringing. It's like you're not actually moral. You're just doing what you. Your behavior patterns compel you to do so then it's about it's about it's basically about owning free will kind of depending i guess on where where you want to go with it but it's not bad to feel good about doing good things um i think the the devil's advocates the uh the facts and logic people um which i myself can be so i admit this this is said lovingly but also like self-deprecatingly will 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 say that any any reward invalidates a good act or that like you're doing it out of obligation that that's the fun part when you start telling somebody what their motivations are that's when it gets into bad territory but i think i think to some degree and this this is the five dimensional galaxy brain wraparound people say that because they want to excuse their guilt for not doing anything good or because they feel judged. I, I think I think that argument comes a lot of the times from a place of uh, of defensiveness, rather than uh, rather than than good faith communication. Ooh. Yeah. What good is having pity going to do you in here? No matter what happens to anyone else, I'm gonna live. Oh, it's like the people who bitch about Valentine's Day being a corporate holiday. Yeah, I I can understand that if you feel obligated to buy someone something on Valentine's Day that you don't want to buy them and they don't want to get. That's when it's like you you have total permission to not play that game if you don't want to. At the same time, there's value in even using something propped up as a as a holiday or as a as a vehicle to sell something. Like you can still enjoy the sentiment of it. 
It's up to you how you choose to celebrate it. Anyone else, I'm gonna live. You tell him. How do I how do I package and sell the concept of free will as a product and profit from it? Amway. I found this out just now. I mean, a lot of a lot of talking talking heads do it. Uh, I'm thinking about that technique you showed me, so I won't forget. Sorry, I gotta go. Good luck. I actually used to think that way, like no company makes a purely good change in their company without reaping a reward of some kind. Basically a nihilistic way to look at life and corporate structures. Yeah, I think it depends on the company. I have I have yet to see in my travels on this world, which to be fair are not exhaustive, I have yet to see a company do the right thing even when they don't have a lot of money. Like it's, e it's really easy for companies to do the right thing when no one has to sacrifice anything for it. But once companies, like once cash flow gets tight and People have to make the choice between treating other people right or taking what they want. Most people just take what they want. Um, especially if they're in a position of power or feel like they've earned it. You're here, Lost Lamb. Next question. What do you value? I've had enough of this. A man's worth can't be measured by a single question. Not to mention, you have more than one path ahead of you. <laughs> This is the second question. Well, with, res with regard to Valentine's Day, I'm not a big fan. But I'm not going to shit on other people over it because there's no need to. I know, right? Oh, man. It's like, is it, isn't that hard to look the other way? That's the thing. It's, I don't know. I guess, I guess somebody who's that offended by it would feel like uh, that mindless dronism, sheepalism is what's, is a, is a antisocial aspect I could see somebody somebody saying that or, or feeling that way they let's see here I'm gonna have to use the restroom here in a second but we'll get our voting in first I've seen some couples that just have the best time on Valentine's Day it could be nice yeah, I kind of use it. I use it as a as a reminder to do something nice, like to just spend time and remind yourself uh, of your partner and and devote time to them. You know, that's not a bad thing. It doesn't have to happen on Valentine's Day either. It doesn't have to, but it's nice to be reminded to do that. It's kind of how I take it. What's up, Rocket Splinter? I don't like this question. Most of the questions are not not fun or easy. I'll say that. Oh, Victorious, thanks for gifting a sub. My view of that has always been, if you care about someone, why do you need an excuse to do something for them? That's just me. Uh, oh, interesting. I don't know if it's an excuse, really. I think it's just a reminder. That's how I treat it. Hmm. So that's your answer. I see. This is actually a giant chapel with eight floors. Wait, so does that mean there's an end to this? The world is in a state of flux. Are you playing this on Switch? Yes. If so, how is it? Totally fine. Be careful what you take for granted. I mean, no issues. You've heard the stories of people losing. There it is. <laughs> such things. What a lineup of games, man. That's some. That's some. Feel it. Chad Alpha Tit Something energy. The likes of which this world has never seen. <sighs> I guess there's no point in worrying about the future. You have more pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> Are you ready? I like that laugh. Can't choose both. You can. If you use like channel points or bits. I appreciate that one bit in there, by the way. Oh, people are getting drunk on St. Patrick's Day when you can get drunk every day anyway? <laughs> yeah, who's, who's going around chastising people for drinking on St. Patty's Day? It is fun because it's like... There are, there are some safer, more obvious answers at the beginning, but they get pretty they get pretty choppy near the end. Oh, thank you, Shade Online. Do you play Conqueror's Blade? Oh yeah, man, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear, Metal, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. It's some real stuff. That's 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 the real business right there. Mm. 
get drunk but green this time, yeah. And we'll play we'll play a couple of Dropkick Murphy songs and one flogging Molly song. Catherine. The fists of grudge have appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. Okay, I have to use the restroom still though. So there's I got that going on. This game has such a good percussion to it once you get moving. Edge. <laughs> when you use a bell, all nearby blocks will be converted into normal white blocks. All right, I have to use the restroom though. <laughs> I've been stacking this up for a while, so I will be right back, everyone. <laughs> I like what I'm hearing in chat here. I see what you mean. I believe the only disconnect we're having is that if I don't think an individual, or I don't think an individual can live a truly altruistic life to its natural end of old age, unless the individual is supported or allowed to look after themselves first when necessary. No individual can live a truly altruistic life unless by chance. Hmm. I mean, that's, that's shades of, like, there's no ethical consumption, right, in our, in our society, because we are in a society. Um, you invariably have to take a harmful act to stay alive. Uh, have you played Hyperlight Drifter? I have, yeah. Um, so I'm actually in the middle of eating a peach, so I'm going to try to not munch that right into the mic. This is handy for getting rid of tricky obstacles, such as cracked blocks or removable blocks. Edge. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> alright, somebody's asking if my voice is any different now than, what is it? Uh, it was actually an interesting question. Oh, does your voice sound different to you now compared to when you first started making videos? Absolutely yes. Um, well, when I first, when I was first, when I did my first VO, I was so nervous that my voice was really high and fast. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty common mistake, I think. Uh-oh, hmm. I never know how to... I never know how to deal with these these circumstances. Of like... Shit. Like it's... I feel like it's almost this configuration exactly that I, I keep struggling with. Of like having a, a gap and then a block uh, on one row above and then another gap. As the classic version of this one seems to worth it, would I be missing out? No, I, th I think it's great. Huh, now that I've gone through puberty, yeah. Yes, I am now, ma'am. No, it's more about, um... I, I wonder, I speculate, like... I wonder if, like, drinking or... Like, I... I've smoked some. Not a lot. Not nearly enough, I would think, to, like, change the... Change the texture of my voice, but maybe? I don't know. Maybe I've just, I've gotten, gotten older and suffered more. Now's not the time to be dead. Exactly. Right, I got it. Grown from E boy to E man. Look at me, mother. Edge. Look at your son. Watch me fly, mother. But, like, it's a little on the nose, right? He's getting pursued by. 
his girlfriend shouting things like take responsibility. It's it's not the most subtle, but I, I still do love it. God, I love it. Uh-oh. I don't think that's going to work. I mean, I guess it will now. Thanks for that. Now it's going to get messy. Actually... Oh, no! I didn't want to do that. Well, shoot. I was curious if I could cycle items. I guess you don't keep items from stage to stage. To st ah. Stage to stage. There's, like, straight up no nowhere to go. Uh, okay. This seems like a good time for one of my new techniques. Oh wait, I don't think that's enough. I need one more. Well, that was almost a, a situation where, like, the movement would actually be too slow to effectively use. Hmm. Think about this. More room over here. Okay. This is gonna be tight. Damn it. Ah. Undo. Undo. Edge. Shit. Edge. 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 Crafty with this. Dang it, stop. Escape. Uh, push that. And then this. And then this. Ah, okay. Ooh. This is stressful, man. Yeah, you can always use your white. Yeah. I, I am forgetting that it's there for sure. Ah, checkpoint. Oh, yeah. What's up, Jack? Guten Abend. That good afternoon? We're gonna get out of here. Fuck. I 
don't know why I'm doing this, but it just feels like it's good to have a, a landing pad. Although I'm pretty sure I just messed it up. What am I doing? Ugh, why did I do that? I really should have undid that a lot earlier. Uh... How's this? Oh, shoot. Wow, that makes it easy. Well, hold on. Might as well get this while I'm here. Just, it's just a free ride from here? Wow. Woo, okay. Oh, good evening in German. All right. Thank you, Jack. God, that was close. <laughs> Don't you run! Is it gone? I'm safe, right? Yeah! I also thought that the, uh, the victory screen in this game is astoundingly jubilant. Like, uh, going from stuff like Mars to, uh, the Hallelujah Chorus. And then, like, finally, like, the bells are gone. And you get like that that great VO. Ah, it just feels good. Like it actually feels like the pressure's off for a bit. As promised. Never really considered like to show you tonight. they described it as a horror. Long ago. And I always thought that applied to just the storyline. But it act like the game does kind of invoke the same sort of anxiety and tension that you get out of a horror game. I don't usually burn the bacon like that. It's all right. I don't mind it a little crispy. All oh, the extreme fever bonus and Peggle? Yeah. Something's going on with you. Are you working too hard? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> You've been gaining weight, haven't you? Can't forget to eat your veggies. Well, I put ketchup on almost everything. <laughs> that doesn't count. You know what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Maybe a little workout will burn out those extra calories. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that being in the um I don't remember that being in the original opening like that. Memories, huh? You should think long and hard about what you have to lose. Let's do this again tomorrow. If you can survive, that is. Hmm. <laughs> Thought it was a new scene. It seems like they're willing to be a little more risky with full body. Maybe there was concern about some of the some of the content. Or some of the subject matter. And then Catherine came out and they are like, Oh, people can handle this. Yeah. Catherine. I was, I was pissed that the new girl was named Rin. Until I realized it. And it's a, it's a nickname for Catherine with a Q-U. Marriage is just a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's best to be free, don't you think? Kind of surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Oh, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Malcolm. I'm glad you said that. Um, Vincent is a is a really interesting protagonist because he's not a good person. He never expresses character virtue of any kind. Um, he just seems to be <laughs> kind of terrified of everything and uh, indecisive. Um, and it's weird that, like, the intro... Whoa. You. <laughs> the intro calls him, like, a kind, good-hearted person. But you never see that. He's just, like... Uh, I was... Uh, your average, dopey, self-interested... Uh, uh, well... Guy. I, uh, have to work tomorrow, so... I need to get home. Oh, oh. 
I had fun tonight. I think like he's actually kind of a fascinating character you because like what you see. I'm not staring. You play as Vincent liar. and you don't want him to die. But he's not a good guy. And he never really does anything that, that means you should be rooting for him. He kind of, he definitely causes every problem he, he experiences. He tastes like smoke. <laughs> Which is just so much like everyone I know. <laughs> not everyone, but like. It's such a weird nuance to have for a character. And an oddly believable one. Especially in like a video game character. <laughs> oh man, this is not good. What is it good? I thought that like the severity of his reactions kind of undercut the the nuance of the subject matter. I don't understand why he pulls this big goofy anime face. I don't need that to know that he's freaking out. So I feel like for his So Okay, I cheated on Catherine. For as nuanced as the game can be, I feel like sometimes beats like is too literal? Make a move. She forced herself on me. It's a weird combo. Uh. I drank way too much. <laughs> because Japan. Would you mind not yeah. Me like that? It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Anime has no tact. Raitlin, extremely well said. It's so weird, Raitlin. I. I don't. Sometimes you have things like this that actually do have really nuanced and interesting messages and amazing fusions of of story theme and gameplay. Ah. Uh, and then he, he, Vincent pulls this like gonky anime face. Oh. Wow. Uh, that's like slapstick ass stuff, and it's like, why are you? Uh, I feel odd. Hmm? It's a weird first time. thematic. It's a. It feels like a thematic clash. It's very slight, but it's like it's like one of the only things that pops out to me about this game. Love at first sight. I think I remember writing that in the review I did for Catherine on Inside Gaming. What? I'm sorry. I'm really. You said you have to work, right? Work? I feel he exemplifies a juvenile's attitude yes. towards life that serves as a reflection of the average gamer. Ooh. Hermes, I I agree with all that. I didn't think that it was pointed at at the gamers. Man, I mean, Vincent doesn't really talk about being a, a gamer. Hey, wait! I'm actually dating someone. To me, he just kind of represented every mistake. directionless 25-year-old. Dudes that, be like, I feel like there's a whole class of people that just kind of follow the follow the, plat, the, the plan, you know? They go to school, they go to college, they get a job. And then a few years into their job, they start to realize there's no plan anymore. Uh, you know what? It just hit me. So you have to start making active decisions about the path Nowadays, of your life. Every guy is about who you end up, end up with or where you end up working, what you do for a career. He's 32, yeah, so he's well past, he's well past that point. I didn't, actually didn't know he was that old, but that's a pretty severe case of, uh... Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? Of not taking control of your own life. Popular with the girls. I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. <sighs> Crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out, you're safe, right? Oh, Malcolm. Like it never that's, happened. That's an I interesting like question. Can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? So. All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Life there is more going on than just literally what you see, Malcolm. But it's an interesting question. Oh, thank you. I don't want to sleep around. I just. Want yeah, because theoretically, Vincent wasn't in a state to give consent, right? What are you gonna do. You're, you're not wrong. If you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pick. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. Oh. <sighs> yeah, Vince Vince was taken advantage of. So um, which is weird because at this point in the story, you have no idea what he has to offer. Like, aside from maybe just a, a cheap lay, you know? Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die but, in real 
alive. Keep watching. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? There is something behind it. Uh, do um, you know? Were you able to see his dream? But uh, yeah, yeah. You are that's right. when it gets anime. It looks so hot. Uh, I'm just trying to trying to really set expectations. Uh, there is more going on than it seems, but at the same time, anyway, you're way too freaked out over a one night stand. Hey, you paying attention? <sighs> yeah, once you know more, it it change it it. it mm, I won't say anything. I won't say anything. But it the texture of it does change and, and make it maybe a little less ambiguous. Huh. I never saw the girl. Yeah. <laughs> Power saving turned on for a second. I one of you guys God, I love that overlay. That like flashing clock. This girl was cute. You definitely remember. You know. I guess those are nuts, but it looks like shrimp. Yeah, dongles McFondles. You're never gonna hey, man, I'll, I'll be here one way or the other. So, I'm just glad you're around. As a ladies man, I wouldn't be here every night with you guys. Anyway, you dig the older chicks, don't you? Yeah. That plant looks phenomenal. What did you do for it? You know, mature, this guy. Um, Stephanie's actually been taking care of that plant. Whoa, so. man. I like that creepy guy in horror movies. It's a great plant, though. Hard to be noticed. Shut up. Here's the thing. Like, that was just there. I didn't put that there. Older than I am. Stephanie is an excellent decorator. So, did I hear and plant mom. For me? Oh, hey, Erica. As someone who knows the twist, do you think it makes theme narrative weaker? Because I do. Whoa. Um... Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? I tend to think of them as two different things. Cheating men and kills them, or not? It, maybe that's me being too kind. Wait, 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 wait. But I sort of like splice this, this the, the narrative of this game in half, because to me, there's a very clear narrative shift. Your girl, where like they asked the question, and they let the question linger as long as they could, like referring to the the themes of the game as being a, like a series of questions about life and motivation. Huh? Um, and morality and, and all sorts of things. You talking about marriage? Relationships. Why don't you say it louder? Um, Stop and, and at its base level, guiding life principles. This game gets really heady. Uh, but, and then it clicks over into anime mode where it's like, then it's a story. So I kind of judge those two things independently and I don't like the story. <laughs> um, but the story is no worse than your average JRPG. Really? That's at a, that's kind of how it feels. There's something well above video games in here, and then something that is video games in here. Awesome! Totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. I'm sorry, I'm talking over the whole game, but. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a. I know the VO so good. And broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. You're in hot water yourself, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha, ha, ha. Shut up. I'm done fooling around. Oh, by the way, Rin's gonna play the piano here starting today. Huh. Okay. Rin is the new character, by the way. Um, the original Catherine had Catherine with a C and Catherine with a K. Um, and Hurry, get up. It's coming for me. superficially, the game seems to be about who Vincent will end up end up with. It's it's about a whole lot more than that. But um, this game has Catherine with a Q U. Sorry, it's very. The cutscenes are very loud, or they're louder. I guess I don't think you can completely separate the two because the okay. themes are reinforced and held up by the twist. I remember the first time I played this and we got to reveal or whatever. Know where you are? Uh, yeah, Captain. Captain, I agree. Dad? I agree. Uh, how about a name? Uh, uh, Rin. Rin? Uh, that's a nice name. Uh, who is that though? I, um, hmm. I can imagine a world where the two supported each other and merged properly. And, and it's that would have been a much better game. What um, was that? Amateur hour. I guess it's. Oh, it, fe <sighs> it, it feels like a Twilight episode. Or a Twilight, uh, Twilight, sorry, a Twilight Zone episode 
that had a sequel. Um, it was, uh, it's like, why was it? Why is this here? Yeah. I was okay with not knowing Unique. exactly everything. Thank you so much. I was hoping to play a little better than that, but... Don't worry about it. No one gets things perfect the first time around. I guess you're hmm. right. I'll have to keep practicing. I guess maybe this is him trying to be kind and supportive. They're trying to express this. Well, express a, char a, a, a small positive character trait, well, but... Nobody's perfect. I mean... <laughs> it was also too a cute girl, so it's like... <laughs> What's up with you anyway? Saving some cute girl from a stalker in the streets? Sounds like a daytime soap opera. That stuff doesn't oh. really happen. Thanks, well, Switch. It so give it a rest. Does that girl really have amnesia? Erica, you took her to the doctor, right? Did they find anything? Not really. They think it's only temporary. It's to make him not a total irredeemable D-bag? Anything you remember is wanting to play piano. I don't know. I kind of I kind of liked that. I didn't need his character to be yeah. more positive. Maybe that will Maybe that will make some elements of the drama more interesting, but Shut up. It's not like that. I I always like it when you kind of like wake up and realize, wait a minute, they haven't done a single good thing for anyone. Um, you know it. Like a lot of a lot of eighties movies. It was a great idea, huh? We have you guys and even it's like this old vision of a hero, just some schmuck who doesn't actually do anything good, but is heroic for some reason. Public spaces are a lot safer if she's really being stalked by someone. Yeah. Yeah, chatbot. I found it weird that like. You would think on an engineering level, games would be able to send a, 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 a signal or flip a, flip a mode switch to prevent the switch from going into a low power mode or something. Because it's not, it's not the display. Some TVs do that on their own. Okay, I've been told to go directly to the, uh, to the restroom. Dream view. Uh, I can't remember what what causes time to pass when you're at the bar. Can't you just disable burn and reduction or whatever the switch? Let me check. Maybe I can. Hey, look at that. That was fast. Drinking, wasn't it? Oh, nothing else? Okay. So you can like talk to everybody, order a drink, and then talk to everybody? Not that girl. Win, right? You filed a police report, yeah? God, this music. Guess we'll hear something sooner or later. Worst case, we'll just let her stick around. This is a real sensual smoky guitar. Alright. <laughs> You're one to talk. It's like almost yeah, blues right. guitar noodling. You seriously okay, man? They say men who cheat. Cursed. Oh, jazz Curse. guitar, maybe? That's so stupid, I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? Maybe so, but... <laughs> Good luck keeping it a secret. Bad her. Beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. I mean, I guess he does... He does seem to actually acknowledge the uh, severity of his action, maybe? But he never... He, I notice he never really talks about how upset he is that Catherine will be hurt. Like, he never really expresses empathy about it. It's more just like, I'm in trouble. That's how, that's how I remember him talking about it back in the original game. Which made me is like, yeah, that kind of character would sort of react that way. I don't know, maybe they're trying to soften him up a little bit. It seems like he's a little more remorseful than I remember him being. He only views things from his own perspective. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of how it. That's kind of how it felt. What? He was definitely that kind of character, Are which you going to look away again. To me, is um, it's I'll always a very believable character. 
I wonder what kind of punishment will be waiting. That's the point in early game, yeah. Huh? I remember it fading away once other things got in. Like he forgot about it pretty quickly. <laughs> Alright, where are these where are these super sick glasses? My dream dream goggles. Vincent reminds me of Shinji, he's his own foil. I never thought about it like that. That's really interesting. Huh. What's this? Hidden shelf? Oh, okay. There's something inside. What are these? Glasses? I guess I'll try them on. If you ever wish to take those naughty glasses on or off, make your way to the bar's restroom. I love that sheep. Have fun. <laughs> what a naughty sheep. <laughs> what a fantastic loading screen. Awesome. Just excellent. Aw. Wait, they're wearing matching like 90s? Where's that to work? Are you serious? Have you done Rin's storyline before? I have not, no. I know nothing She's about her. She's a bit cold, but Catherine's a good girl. You don't have to tell me that. You can take your phone out to check it by pressing the X button. Yeah, me and the boys just hanging out, literally. This game rules. Oh, you get like wallpapers, I think? Oh, here we go. This is how, it, okay. When you spend time in the stray sheep, you will receive text messages on your phone. You can even reply to some of these messages. Depending on how you reply, Vincent's feelings and those of the person he is writing to may change. Okay. What the hell? Oh, okay. I guess it starts at the bottom and goes up. It's like, how many videos did I miss? Why does it say 134? That doesn't really seem like that many. Whatever. Safety to first score be saved under easy. So like, safety. Also, I, I respect that they uh they kept it a flip phone. This game landed in a very narrow window of time. Ren's gonna be fine. We'll keep an eye on her. What about you though? You okay? That thing about men who cheat being cursed? Apparently, it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean, like how Paul died? Yeah. Or it is? This yeah. Thing called the woman's. Missimus, this is the uh, <laughs> the cyberpunk chair. Sounds like something Erica would yeah. like to have. I got very, very lucky. Been here a few times. Because right? Stephanie got one, yeah. and she wanted a different Last chair, so she gave this one to me. School. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Yeah, the slip phone fits the aesthetic more. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Maybe if I'd talked to Paul more, this wouldn't have happened. Does he have a bow in the back of his underwears? You got a mail. I can't see what's going on back there. <sighs> Are you out drinking again? Yes. Who's the maker of the cyberpunk chairs? It is uh, Secret Labs. I don't know if you can read that on the head pillow, but there it is. Hey, what's up, Ron Key? 0014. The traditional loincloth? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that's what it might be. It kind of looked like boxers, but it was hard to tell. <sighs> Stopped by your apartment today, but you weren't there. Wanted to talk, uh, talk to you about something, but I guess it'll have to wait till tomorrow. By the way, your place is filthy. I told you, you have to empty the trash more often. I took it out this time, but you need to be more careful, okay? That's all. Good night. 
bedtime and I go. I need time. I need time to sort this out in my brain. One sock tomorrow. I feel like it's it's shitty to like pretend to be concerned about her at this point. See ya. <sighs> Imagine emailing back and forth to your significant other. I mean, text chain a million a million texts long, absolutely, but emails? Had my dank gamer vape and started Outer Wilds, and I feel like my mind is imploding. It's so fucking cool, dude. Outer Wilds is is amazing. It's amazing sober, but I could see how it would be. Uh, time she hit a wrong note. It'd be a new reality. That's a deal breaker for me. No matter how cute she is. Anyway. Can we romance them? Catherine been together all I don't know. Time, right? I gotta admit, I'm a I'm a little. I just want to know for reference. <laughs> I'm a little concerned at how it was at the young Rin looks. Was given her dating. I'm sure she's and he ended up falling old, for her but himself. I usually don't Ran don't care for the type. The night when she was depressed. Like tiny, frail. <laughs> Stand up guy like that turns out to be. Yeah, I'll go talk to Rin. <laughs> Seriously. You're actually really sensitive, aren't just you? Just finishing up the table. Look it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. Gotta talk to my, my bros. Alright. Like she's wearing a nightgown? Thanks for everything, Vincent. I'll get to see everyone here each night. And I'm really excited to play the piano at a she's place with bangs. such an adorable name like the Straight. Yeah, Tiny and Frail is not really my Don't thing. Thank me, thank Erica. Oh, no, wait, actually. Nothing, ag nothing against you? Tired you. All you adult ladies, no problem. I heard that. If you're a. We're getting married? Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. We have been together quite a while, though. It's just like, I don't know. The anime bouquet just makes you tense up a little bit. You're like, nah. Hey, Rin. Do you have any idea who was chasing you? No, not really. It was all so sudden. I am curious to figure out what her what her lore is. I'll say that. Yes. Man has gamer well, neck, yeah. We're all here for you, so Way out here. She may be a thousand-year-old witch. I'd buy it. Why not? Um, I'm curious to find that out, though. Yeah, he's a... His body language says a lot about him, I think. I wonder who the stalker was. Rin doesn't seem worried, but you can never be too careful. Oh, shit. It's the I refuse to believe right? it's your problem any server too? actually wears that under their apron. Anyway... Just in case a porn cheater? shoot breaks out. Who would have thought? Don't you care about Catherine? Uh, of course, but just like with the original, there's like a reason for it. No spoilers, though, of course. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the no spoilers, but I am I am morbidly curious. If that rumor's real, what are you gonna do? Nothing, because it's not real. Um, this there's no way this can be a spoiler based on how silly it is. But uh, when I played the original game, I got the ending where he just runs out into traffic and gets hit by a car. Um. Which, I was like, I was basically like, what did I just watch? It actually, I didn't understand the reference that I think that ending was going for. Um, I, uh, late, st lately Stephanie's been into Turner Classic Movies. And, uh, I've grown to understand what a common trope it actually is in older movies and dramas for, uh, characters to just run out into the street and die. Like, it's almost sometimes it's like a, a device that just plops itself into a movie to push di push drama forward. So I figured that was the idea, is that it was just a big reference to, like, a shoddy... Like, it was... I thought it was a self-aware uh, reference to, to, like, movies like this. Because um, that's the kind of thing that would happen in this kind of show which is what the framing device is. So I was like, okay, it kind of adds up. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Oh, uh, sorry for staring. <laughs> please sit. <laughs> Have you ever heard this story before? The man who climbs the highest mountain gets his every wish granted. 
Doesn't that happen it's in The Great Gatsby? I think it does. A man climbed that mountain. It must have happened all the time. And was given a fortune. Maybe, maybe there legitimately was a portion of the human existence where people just didn't think about cars yet. There were cars everywhere, but they didn't grow up with them, so they were just running out of the street and blam. Is this a fairy tale? It took an entire generation to get hit by cars in times of emotional duress. Rapunzel is based on this true story. A prince who was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now. I like how these ladies are just crushing beer and pizza. Will you become the man of legends? Uh, it's Catherine. Oh, sorry. But, well, whatever. <laughs> oh, sorry, but, well, whatever. That literally was the case when the first cars came out? Really? Okay, so, so maybe it's not as... It's not as ridiculous as I think. Maybe there was a point in time when people just get, just ran out of the street and got plastered. <laughs> Robbie, you don't gotta you don't gotta miss me. I'm right here. But I understand. I understand what you mean. Yeah, I mean it's can't lie. It's been it's been pretty great since then. Oh wait, don't you? Uh oh. Uh. I'm gonna play dumb. That's what that's what Vincent would do. What is this? Uh, I, I don't know who would be mailing me. You become the man of legends. I absolutely will. Yes, I will indeed. See, but laws are relatively new too. Yeah, in Deadpool. Um, I've been reading about seatbelt laws lately, especially the reaction to them and the agonizingly long amount of time it took to make them more commonly used uh, for what I would consider fairly obvious reasons. All right. I don't know subs work, but I will if I can. Hey, man. If you want to, feel free. If you don't, that's cool, too. I'm just hanging out and playing video games, man. Mr. Morgan will like that piano. Feels good. I wonder if that piano will bless Mr. Morgan. Goddamn. You got a mail. Oh, time passes when you sit down to talk. Ah. So sitting down to talk, okay. See, belt laws are far more upsetting to me than mask laws. Uh, hey man. I, I appreciate the consistency. Or rather, at least, uh... Why are some of them, like, kind of bolded and some are not? Maybe those are the ones you can reply to and haven't? No? Oh. Yeah. Okay, Elrock. I'm glad that was your reasoning. Yeah, the mask thing affects others. Um, it's kind of similar to, like, drunk driving. It's a decision you make, but you're not allowed to ignore the impact it has on others. Or, I guess you, you can try, but it's a shitty thing to do. Whereas, yeah, seatbelts, it's like... That does only affect you. Um, maybe seatbelts on kids or like people you have to protect that can't make that action or make that decision themselves, but I mean this is this is a this is a grab, it's a reach. Um, but there is there is a cost associated with getting injured. And it the negatives go beyond just one person getting hurt um, because yeah medical costs are a thing and it's like you can I guess you can think about it like a uh, like a supply and demand problem but it is human suffering um, yeah. yeah y'all should wear seatbelts though Fly. She said I didn't have to. I'm I am emotionally uh, duress right now. So yeah, you can 
book? I thought you could talk to him. No new leads today either. Yeah, true, bro. I would argue seeing someone fly out of a car and crash is traumatic and unavoidable. Yeah. There's that too. If you're sitting in the back without a seatbelt, you can kill the person sitting in front of you, headbutt to the back of the head. Oh, that's interesting. Did not know that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've done. Ooh, look at that bartender, though. I've done a small amount of reading on it. by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy, always climbing. Mostly that like a lot of the resist a lot of the resistance to the idea was initially based on just hyper anecdotal observations that were only partially borne out by actual studies. Um always climbing. But it's just like men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. So weird. Let's talk to the bartender. Come on. Do I have to sit to do that? I probably do. Notice the Persona plushes on the bar. Oh, I didn't! Oh, that's cute! The Teddy and a Morgana. I'm surprised there's not a Jack Frost. That's usually the, uh, the Atlas thing. There was a massive PSA in the UK about 20 years ago of a recreation of a son killing her mum by not using a seatbelt in the back seat. Oh my god. Ugh. That's really sad. Time will slowly pass each time you sit and you talk to people. Have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. Some customers are experiencing difficulties. Try to cheer them up when you can. Your video sounds different. You can go home at any time from the door in the front. <laughs> Even with the nighty glasses, the bartender's got the shades on. That's his negligee. <laughs> that pianist seems to have a rather unique style. Well, I welcome the change of pace. This customer is a journalist. He seems to be obsessing over a certain legend lately. A legend? I was originally looking into these suspicious deaths that have been happening lately. I'm Justin, by the way. Hmm. Have I met you somewhere before? Think of it. Um. I'm sure I've seen you before. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the legend. Anyway, in my yeah. research, journalists I found got abs. Indicating that similar cases occurred in hundred-year cycles. Many men died last time as well. Hmm. It's the truth. Oh, it's wow. Wait, Spirit Grip, did you change your name? I found a strange variation on this legend going Just around. Just inverter caps. Hmm? There's a man who survives it. Survives the dreams. Very, very rarely. There's a man who is cursed but doesn't die. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. It's said that the survivor is granted one wish. If he wished for eternal youth, he might still be around. <laughs> it's like a magic lamp. Well, if this is what you're coming up with, you have a wish in mind for yourself? Hmm, to live forever? Not too typical? Me? I'd wish for something different. Like what? I may wish to change the past. Make someone kill me. Oh, uh, <laughs> I wonder what I'd wish for. What are the perceived benefits of no seatbelts? Um, it is, it is a, it is a, okay, so I only read this part of it, I guess. It is a school of thought that if you're not wearing a seatbelt, you will feel less secure when you drive and thus drive more safely. That was, that was the idea, is that once you put someone, like, strap them in, they're gonna feel invincible and drive like crazy. Um, that was one of those interesting things that turned out to be partially true. Um, if, and, and this is actually pretty cool and it actually super makes sense. I don't know, I thought this was really cool. If somebody has always worn seatbelts and they take them off, they drive the same speed. Um, if somebody drives a certain speed and never wears a seatbelt and then you put a seatbelt on them, they actually do drive a little more aggressively. So it's, um, uh, and this, this was a variety of studies. I, I was, I was perusing Wikipedia, so I didn't read the actual studies. I just read, read the summaries. Um, but, uh, yeah, needless to say, it's bollocks to not wear seatbelts or helmets. Yes, do that. Um, it's, uh, the, the concept was, at least with the seatbelts, is that if somebody was used to not wearing seatbelts, then they actually did get a little more aggressive when they were strapped in. But the point is to make everybody used to it and also drive defensively at the same time.
Oh yeah, these dudes. Oh man, he's got leopard print underwear. Hell yeah. Playing a pianist, huh? I guess this bar's ranked up. Listen, Archie, you've got to become a better man. I don't know how you're ranking it, but I'm not desperate to climb the social ladder. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Upward mobility. Be like Ivy, always climbing. Then let me introduce you. I think my this employer may have defrauded this the federal Archie. government. Are you on your way home? That's a that's a hell of a thing to drop in Twitch chat. Not. Are we all complicit now? Suit. suit. That's okay. I got I got a couple lawyers. That's a shame. You're not one of our customers then. What do you mean? We make business yeah. suits. I love the bartender sheep thong. Suits. Have you heard the jingle? It's so good. You'll be the cock of the walk in a bantam. Oh, you're from Catherine's company. Hey, I think I've heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? I think of it, but I don't remember anything. Todd's a hard guy to forget. He's running the government like is an epic gamer business. moment. <laughs> That's enough cock a doodle out of you. I can't wait. Oh. Uh. Wow, you're sharp. I'm guessing no one's done it yet. But we need a we need someone brave. We need a real gamer to file their taxes live on Twitch. Uh, random. Thank you for the. Thank you for the the tip. Uh, can I use your profile pic on my iFunny? And I can't tell you how many times I've gotten DMs saying how much they appreciate you, even though nothing else about my account is remotely related to you. So I'm passing on the message. Love you. Well, thank you. Wow. What a huh. What an interesting way to. Thank you for thank you for uh, cashing in all of those random messages you get. Um, that's very kind of you. Thank you for the tip. Huh. Ah, I should have registered an iFunny account. All those all those sweet compliments would be mine. Um, if I may ask. <laughs> yes, thank you. Would you happen to have seen a pair of strange glasses lying around? Wearing them really spices things up. Are you saying he knows? No. It's fine if you haven't seen. Have you played that Rapunzel game over there? Some stages are supposed to be impossible, but they're a cinch if you've got technique. I think I'm pretty good at coming up with techniques. Oh, okay. This is how he knows all this. You got a mail. My head hurts. This is how he knows all the stuff, and when he's uh, in. Oh no! Oh, I wanted to talk to them more. Yeah, I wonder if the woman's wrath. I heard about from Erica is real. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this, too? Whatever. Still, she really rags on you, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self conceit. Uh, to wrangle the words of a certain someone. That is a great phrase. Do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. I cannot deny that I look upon Rin with a certain male gaze. This is all we, the workers, are trying to unionize. The union attorney representing us has just been told. Holy crap. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. Man. That, that is some epic gamer shit right there. That's right, I think my technique was to talk to everybody but the bartender until everyone left. And then, uh... Because the bartender stays the latest. Time passes so slowly here. It's oh, rubber nice. bones, thanks for the raid. What do you usually do here, Vincent? Uh, oh, um, well... Oh, I missed this. I'm sorry, Knapsack. This was a while ago. Selfishly using the subversion to ask a question. If you could have anyone narrate your life, fictional or not, who would you have narrate? Um, this is a little on the nose, but the announcer voice from Catherine would be great. That would be like the most classy. Um, whenever I get the like bar trivia, I've. I, it sounds a little too convenient, but legit. I've been Vega. Vega. Hmm. Vega doesn't have that doesn't have that emotional savor to his voice. Vega's a little robotic. Um, Markiplier, ooh, that's a good, that's a good pick, actually. Markiplier's voice is so good. Oh man, it's so good. It's so good. I'm gonna say this knowing nothing about Markiplier. Has he ever referred to himself as a voice actor? Um, because I feel like his, 
vocal performance in his Let's Plays are so much, so much of the value of it. It's just me, but in a shitty British accent. I could do that. Yes, I drink, and relax. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I'd love to join you when things aren't so crazy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I kind, I kind of want to see what Rin's all about, but I also don't want to feel, I don't want to feel icky. I gotta go take a leak. Actually, yeah, John Smith, solid pick. Hey, uh, is it true Orlando's divorced? Huh? Y you didn't know? He got married while he was pretty young. He lost a lot of money in some scam. His wife left him. He pretends not to mind, but I think it still gets to him sometimes. Even when his wife calls him, he... Huh? huh? What do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. The thing about the PPP loans is that if the money goes to payroll, then it's effectively free money. If it does not, then it is a loan, and it must be paid back with interest. In the 2008 financial crisis, U.S. made a profit with the same loans. I mean, damn. That's kind of like war bonds, except for private companies. Uh-oh. Time to look at a pic. Oh! It's like, oh shit! You can't look at this in public. I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. Hmm. Oh, is that the time? I should be heading home soon. Uh, oh, thank you, Sunflash. Anyway, I can't hurt her anymore. Yeah, that podcast Yo, was fun. Vincent, we're leaving now. You're not going home yet. Well, thanks, tallest boy. Uh, well, I think I'll stay and drink a little more. She has four questions you have to answer correctly in the confessional. If you get even one wrong, Rin's route is closed off. Hmm. This guy. This voice is so, so good. How drunk Vincent gets corresponds to how fast he moves that night in his nightmare. Yeah, Ice Man. I'll be I'll be scuttling into the bathroom to stare at How long are you going to avoid nude the pictures animal? very soon? <laughs> You'll have to pay for your sins. Did I, did I just hear something? <laughs> Yay, you're here. That voice. Why are you here? I thought you'd be here around this time. Just like last night. Uh, not yesterday. I don't really remember. As a maze, thank you for the prime. Actually, side. I. Oh, hey! Do you want me to wake up early tomorrow and make you breakfast? What do you want to eat? I'm a pretty good cook. No. Huh? Why not? N not today. I mean, more than today. Just, I, I can't. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, good morning from hell. I'm going to the restroom. No. No more. No more cheating. Okay! Boom! Why are you... You were taking forever uh, and I got worried. Oh, well, I'll see you... Huh? Uh... You can't leave me now! We finally have a moment to ourselves! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh no. I'm all wet. God. Mm. Like it? Uh, I'll go get a towel. <laughs> hmm. The reason most of the money went to larger organizations instead of small businesses is because the amount of documentation needed to get the loans was pretty deep. So organizations that had good bookkeeping were given the money first, meaning larger organizations got it. Small businesses that did not have good book bookkeeping were effectively at the back of the line. Small businesses that did have good bookkeeping were given the loans. Eh, that's interesting. Hey, can't I come over? It's just bad. It, it's are you a uh, call wreck? Are you a, are you an accountant? I'm embarrassed. 
You want to leave right now, then? I kind of like... I have to admit, I do like... Uh, I do like sort of identifying people's expertises. So I know I know to like trust first-hand accounting and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's an opportunity to learn. Never cheated in my life before. <laughs> it's gonna knock back this whole glass, staring directly at her. This game is about relationships or just weird Japanese shit. Everything will be fine. It's uh, it's about stuff. Uh, it it will become clear what the game is about at some point. It's about a couple things, but uh, no use worrying about it now. To yeah, deep pipes. I'm a computer science graduate. I have a computer science degree. I've got to say it like that. Computer science degree. Oh, I'm glad Rin's doing okay, but her performance is still. Well, work in a small business right here. Can confirm it does require quite a lot of documentation for the application, but nothing in the application was insurmountable. Okay, but I can see how like if you don't have a staff or people, and if like if your entire day is consumed. Uh, just running the business or trying to figure out how to keep the business going during COVID and all that. I can see how how grinding through a bunch of paperwork can take a while. Several clients are and several of our clients are also small businesses that went through the process. Also, my brother's gone through the process as well for some of their work. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Right. Sounds like you're pretty, pretty intimate with it. Hey, Demi. Thanks for the sub. How am I today? I'm doing great, man. Feeling good, feeling tipsy, Swer swerving around this bar, playing cool video games, hanging out with people. I want to play the piano better. My dad works for a major bank and they had a big call about the PPP loan back when there was a controversy over some businesses getting money over others and it basically came down to they received no guidelines at the beginning on how to distribute loans. Okay, so they just first come first serve and then that's how it worked out. Hmm. Yeah, Andrew. <laughs> I guess uh, Catherine and PPP loans is an interesting mix, huh? You know how Rin wears that weird bracelet? Oh, the one on her left wrist? Yeah, I hear strange noises coming from it sometimes. Almost like it's talking. Maybe it's some newfangled radio. Oh, I'm so curious. I can't even focus on work. Oh, what else is there? poison? Poison of choice tonight? Uh, Diet Dr. Pepper and cream soda, which is delicious. If you can find it, I recommend it. Um, that's a hashtag sponsored. I wish, man. Imagine getting sponsored by Dr. Pepper. That's too much, though. That's too much. I can buy my soda. It's all right. Ultimately, you said Catherine's story isn't all that great. It depends. It depends a lot on your tolerance, um, like how much you're willing to roll with, how much belief you're willing to suspend. It gets pretty. It gets pretty out there. But I think, as as harsh as it might feel in this game, and it feels it feels a little uneven. I'll say that. Um. Uh, I think it's still in keeping with the branding that they put around it, as though this is this is like a tale of intrigue, almost like Tales from the Crypt quality. And if you think about it like that, like it's anime Tales from the Crypt, if you then suddenly it kind of clicks in a little more. But still, it does swerve and it's kind of hard to follow the swerve. I'll say that. I will tier three sub every month you have a Dr. Pepper sponsor. Well, that's basically the sponsor itself. Why do I need a... Boy, this is a chicken or egg situation you guys here. Are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. Quite a few customers come here just to see Erica, which is great for business. Oh, Pop-Tart, no worries. I'm glad to hear it went well, and I'm glad to hear recovery's going well. Um... I guess you can have too much of a good thing. Did it... I guess everything went okay? Like, it... The, the operation did exactly what it was supposed to do. Next level is going to be so hard. Never got drunk at the bar. That makes it easier, right? Doesn't that give you more time? I thought I thought there was zero downside to drinking. I thought it made you better. <laughs> is it the other way? Go to the arcade. 
arcade machine to play a video game. G Fuel is the Dr. Pepper of gaming. Hmm. I'll take that sub now. Three games yeah, I thought it made you move faster. The rules are the same as the nightmare stages. However, there is no time limit, but you do have a limited number of It makes moves. you slower. Really? Oh. If you use up all your moves, you will get a game over. So take your time in solving the puzzle. I thought it helped. Hmm. You can change the puzzle mode in the Yeah. Menu. I also thought there was no downside to drinking, but now I'm 32. Discover new techniques. Yeah, it's a fun it's a fun path, isn't it? There is zero downside to drinking. Challenges hidden in this game. Try them out. It's good for the humors. It's good for you. This. Let's do this. Oh, Tony wished me luck on my date. It was awesome. We played beer pong and she kicked my ass. Ah, that sounds fun. Oh, an earlier tooltip said drinking makes you faster in the nightmare. I thought it was just I thought it was just better. Like I don't recall there being any gameplay implication. Like there's no reason to not drink, basically. <laughs> I do remember thinking that. Castle top floor, trapped behind a locked door, left Rapunzel, a maiden pure. Above the clouds in the air. Her room overflows with hair hair as she cries tears of despair. All right, let's let's get it moving. It's like weird knockoff nutcracker. The sound, the sound and aesthetic of this remind me of like Super Mario RPG a lot. Those hearts, though. You, those are even Mario block faces. Yeah, they even have like eyes on them, kind of. That's actually a really cute sound. Yeah, we got a real game here. We got a real video game on our hands. You thought it was just talking, huh? Aw. Oh. This ain't some Persona visual novel bullshit. Although that is that is always part of it. Alright, let me... This is gonna get... Trying to remember the, trying to remember the old loop around. It's a, it's a thing I can do. All the YouTubers with SNES and 64 GameCube music in the background of every video. All from the same editor studio. <laughs> is that a thing? I, it has become more and more common, hasn't it? Man, what a... How blessed are people to just have nostalgic music that they can use infinitely? Procedure was successful. Great to the kind staff, doctor. Oh, yeah. Throat has been consistently dry, so I drink nonstop to hydrate. Oh, but I have to use the restroom. Okay. 
to keep myself from bending over and not allowed. My nose is full of blood and I have to change the gauze every so often. Plus clean my nose area with peroxide. Woo! Well, glad you're glad you're on the mend. No. Oh, wait, that's not going to work. This will go to the exit. No, it won't. I don't have enough room. You can only play uh, three stages. Maybe it's only three lives. <sighs> Culverack, thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the sub. Oh, appreciate that. That's a big, that's a big sub too. Chonkity sub, thank you. Uh, Dimmy, thanks for the sub. H plus links, thank you for the resub. My tired and quiet. How have you come to be in this situation so dire? I was not but twelve years old when a witch of me took hold. Wait, what? When a witch of me? None may reach me in the sky. No man, no woman, no passerby. It's like little Pac-Man cutscenes. Huh. I remember thinking that's why I didn't play this very much, because the first time I played, I ended up playing a really long time, and I was like, ah, I want to finish the game. Okay. Seriously? All right. Well, maybe I'll maybe I'll wrap it up pretty quick then. Let's see. What do I have to do here? Hmm. 
I don't know about Carton, I'm still going for a while. Just being stumped here. Tell us, boy. Maybe I'll just pull him out and try and figure it out. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Oh, no. At this stage, I never Rapunzel, but by then, there's only one way to complete it, and it gets too brain hurdy. Shit, I think I'm stuck. I sure am. Seriously? Okay. Interesting. This version is what I wanted the main game to be. Really? I feel like it's, uh... Hold on, let me... So... Ninety-eight, Jason. Thanks for the prime. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Sorry, I was just checking to make sure. There was some big talk going on in chat. I wanted to make sure everything was everything was cool. Everything is cool. Shoutouts to you guys for being cool. Ah, all right. I have sixteen power. If if at any point along this path there were a place that was two blocks wide, I could I could spiral it down, but that doesn't exist. Um. Hmm. If I push this, then that block's gonna fall, and I'll lose my path up. Uh. And I don't think anything's there to catch it either. Man, yeah, this one's nothing under that. Push that away, it does nothing. If I could... This one that I'm like hanging on right now, if I could pull that out, then I'd have more space to work with on this bottom row. But if I do that, I can't get back up. Top left, push right. Top left. You mean, you mean this one? Push it. I don't, or this one, push right. I don't know how I could do that. There's like, there's no block there. Make a larger lower bed before continuing. Yeah, I think that that's what I tried to do initially. I feel like it didn't work. Uh, that one time, but then again, I, you know, could have been an arbitrary block push on my part. Mm. Oh, it 
didn't do anything. can't pull that because it'll pull the tower down. Um. Hmm. I still don't think I can get anything going here, but... Oh, whatever. Seriously? Oh yeah. One more life, I think. No, that's it. Okay. Maybe could have undone all the way, but that's all right. No more continues, maybe. <laughs> okay, I'll put some stuff in. I'll put some time into that. That's a fun. Yeah, that that's a. I know that you said it before, but uh, that is a good way to yeah, good way to develop techniques in a low stress setting. Stumbling my own ass around. What a quote! Yeah, some of these quotes are amazing. This game's like Call of Duty, but for dating. Appropriately, it has. Uh <laughs> these glasses are too much. It has dating quotes. Well, coming back to a Lawrence stream after Valorant tilts me off the face of the earth. Man, yeah, let me uh allow me to allow me to mellow out that burn a little bit. Wait, what? How come I came back out here? I wanted to look at my phone! Hundred gigabytes of bad dating advice. Why is that Call of Duty? Call of Duty in a nutshell. That music became insufferable. Wonder if that was on purpose. I didn't find it that bad, but I can see how it'd get repetitive. What's this game about? Relationships, guilt, cheating. <laughs> Let me stare at that pick. <laughs> All right. You know Vincent's a cool dude because he stares at pics in the bathroom of a bar after three drinks. It probably happens way more than I like to think about. Dude staring at porn in the bar of a bathroom on their phone. Yeah, that's pretty tame. That's a video game. Cheating, huh? It's not like I can just apologize for it and everything will be fine. No use worrying about it now. I just have to accept it as a one-time screw. Okay, well. I guess I've done all the conversing there is to do tonight. I can't remember, you just leave? something to do uh oh well i'm glad i got to see you tonight be careful on your way home she got those claws in she knows Is she there to be pretty force herself on him and stir the pot maybe maybe she's just really into it's it just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Well, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? Pounding beer in his underwear. Uh, Vincent? <laughs> Three to one girl, girl to guy bar ratio. Only in a video game. Pretty much. That's why we like playing video games, because it's the male fantasy. A bar with broads in it? Can you imagine such a thing? 
Uh, Jojo, thanks for the sub. And Robo Nex, thank you for the sub too. Thank you, fellers. Tonight's area is the torture chamber where traitors are put to rest. Ooh. I'm sensing an unusual presence tonight. What could be waiting for you? Zero deaths. The main course of the deadly climb begins here. Am I, is this world first? Don't stop on top of them. Oh. Oh yeah, trap blocks. God damn. Trap blocks are real fun. God damn it. Again? How long is this gonna go on? It's been every night now. <laughs> Alright. Oh boy. It's uh it's a glare o'clock over here. So I I apologize in advance. I'm already gonna I'm gonna be seeding my excuses early. Hmm. I don't know what to do in these circumstances. This will work. I can't die here. Got it. Shoot, I shouldn't have stepped on that so much. Okay. Just calm down. Was close went the wrong way actually i mean who knows was my first death i'll take it She straight up call it a Bible. Spicy. Huh. Hold on a minute. Do people tend to talk to their SOs about their sexual performance? Yeah. I mean, it's... But it, the thing is, like... Those conversations need to happen, but need to be entirely constructive. It's, uh, it's meant to come from a place of, like, it's, I think ideally those conversations are like, hey, I really like it when you do blank. Or, like, if you could do blank like this, it would work so much better. These are all crack crackable blocks. Crackety blocks.
Sorry, bud. Oh boy, that did not <laughs> didn't buy me much time. Shit. God damn it. Uh, deal Grop, thanks for the thanks for gifting the sub. I've used handbrake before. Yeah, I use it all the time. Now's not the time to be dead. Handbrake is a fantastic tool. I did that all wrong. I guess it could have been it could have been more wrong if I'm being honest with myself, so. Shit! <laughs> oh, I'm way too slow. Not the time. Actually, that guy killed me. Yeah, Poppy Pardo. I, I left Rooster Teeth six over six months ago. It has been a minute. I've been flying solo, soaring like a bird. I think I'd be streaming at well 6:42. No, I guess that's that's viable. Thanks for gifting five subs. That's so kind of you. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Get back here. I did all that prep. Didn't really get me much. Just calm down. Oh crap. Uh oh. I'm I'm leaning over all weird because the sun glare is getting intense. Shoot, man! I didn't mean to do that. Come back. Shit. Oh! I heard the checkpoint was right there. Dang! 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 Stop watching for us a while ago, so I'm not a loop. No worries, man. Now's not the time to be dead. I would never imply that uh, the movements of my career should be of uh, critical importance to your day to day. Oops. Why did I do that? That was weird. Is there input lag on the Switch at all for this game in particular? Mm, Now's not, the time to be dead. not necessarily. There's a little bit of lag between, like, changing direction and actually moving cube because you can like tap a direction and not actually move so sometimes it can be a little tricky to get that down i think i really i think i really messed things up just then crap i really did how do i do that oh yeah Dang it! I keep I keep uh, stepping blocks when I don't mean to, and then I end up on the on a spike block, just dead. standing there getting spiked. Thank you. 
shoot. This is a lot easier when that's still there. Oh, I guess it's, it's not that bad. Coins. Dick move, don't you think? Steph's having a good time. That was dumb. What's up, Steph? Yeah. Watching a what? Uh huh. Quite good stuff. <laughs> Quite. Okay. We didn't. What did we do to deserve stuff? Oops. Because I don't. I don't know what it was, but I'm pretty grateful for it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, McGee's. Fuck! Man. I was waiting for that, too. It was, like, just out of the, uh, the range of the camera. Now's not the time to be dead. Should have a stiffy motor, too? I should! You're absolutely right. I was like goofy. God damn it. Ooh, uh. Yeah, Andrew, this game this game is rough, man. Um I am playing on hard. Hey VCM. What did we eat today? Let's see. Uh for lunch I had a Nutrisystem chicken <laughs> noodle soup thing. Um and like a mix of broccoli and scallops. Then I had a snack that was a English muffin with some grated Parmesan cheese melted on top. Uh, and, uh, and a peach. Something about this doesn't feel right. Man, edge. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, that fell apart real quick. Does my mic sound different? It probably does. Um, it's in a different place, and the gain is... It's way closer to me, so the gain is a lot lower. So I sh it, there should be less room noise. I should feel... I should sound a little more close and present. Maybe some of the finer parts of my uh, speech are getting picked up, whereas previously they may not have been. So, that might explain it. this wall gosh oh oh clarity's way better that's good Now's not the time to be dead yes ASMR now uh, it doesn't look 60 FPS to me but that you know that doesn't I feel like it doesn't need to be this game functions I would always push for more FPS but I can handle this being in 30. No, Vincent. We gotta work this out, bud. Don't need you. Don't need you with all the questions, though. Edge. Yeah, this is not gonna. Edge. Jesus Christ. How's this? Uh. It's gotta be just for you. Does an OBS cap at 60 FPS? What? OBS can cap at whatever you want. The video game is running at 30 FPS. I am streaming at 60. Oh, you misunderstood? No worries. Cares. You lost your job? Dude, I'm sorry. That sucks. Whatever. Take the night off. Have s well, I guess take a couple nights off, but... Just have some beer. That's Fuck solid. it. Apply for unemployment, I guess. Let the government handle it for a little bit. Did the stop 
Darling, now's my chance. This game is hard. <laughs> So going, yeah, Ranger Green. Got that got that longevity, got that stamina, that gamer stamina. That big S tier streamer stamina. Oh, this is interesting. What? Um, Rin? What are you doing here? Oh, hi, Vincent. I'm not sure what's going on, but I found this piano, so I just started playing it. Oh, what are you Halo Dudette, thanks for gifting a sub. Is that your underwear? Oh, that's don't, nice. Don't look at me like that. There, you got a sub. Man, we're, we're pulling for you. Just a sheep to you? Bear that cares. A sheep? What do you mean? Come to think of it, you're not a sheep either. What's going on? Got some more on our hands. No time for that. This place is bad. If you don't get out of here, you're gonna die. Die? I see. So that's why everyone's so scared. In that case... I'm telling you, this is no time for piano! Uh, Slim Dog Hinkleberg, thanks for the sub. Sean is author, thanks for the prime. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no joke, Homerton. This is... G Fuel in invo invoked stamina. A little snoot full of G Fuel helps, helps manage hunger pangs a little bit. It's not so bad now that I'm up to 1500. I'm gonna roast some more shrimp tonight, and then I'm gonna eat that shrimp, and I'm very excited about that. And then the ground stopped crumbling. Was that because of Rin's playing? I've also discovered you can, you can like coarse chop uh, garlic in a food processor. So now roasting vegetables is going to take me like no time at all. I use cooking spray and salt and pepper and, and garlic and chili flakes on pretty much everything, uh, and it's it's wonderful. Because your shrimp boom roasted. Uh, uh, oh, don't roast me. How dare you, sir, roast me like that? All right, I think I'm gonna switch to another game. Uh, still a puzzle game, not quite as horny, as far as I know. Uh, Super Liminal came out today, which is like a it's like a I don't know. It's like a weird four-dimensional puzzle game that uh, that uh, kind of plays off your your sense of perspective. So I'm gonna try that in just a second. I tried using coconut oil. I'm not really allowed to use any oil at all on my uh, on my diet. Just spray. That's it. No butter. No oil. They want me to get lean. Can't be eating delicious things and get lean at the same time. So done this in kitchens. But if you use a lot of garlic and want some garlic prep, you can freeze some portions in an ice cube tray. Yeah, with uh, like I've seen stuff with like oil and herbs frozen in a cube where you can just pop it into a pan and you have all your aromatics right there. Um, it's very cool. Uh, I think we have, we have like silicon trays for that, but garlic powder and garlic salt are also really good. I use them in everything I cook. Olive oil is healthy. Yeah, it's healthy, but, um, really the goal is just low calories. I think I can go without oil for a while or added oil. Well, all right. Break time. Break time. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys will find a way. Yep. Break time, I'll be back with a very innocent, non-sexual puzzle game. See you guys in a second.